Yo, what's going on, everybody? You're watching Nick Snow by Chat Sports. I am your host, Marshall Green, and we got a watch party on deck as the New York Knicks will be hosting the Detroit Pistons tonight as it feels like they will be playing for like the 55th and a half time this season. But you know what? It's just the next game on the schedule, and it is a must-win ball game for the New York Knicks. If the Knicks are able to defeat Detroit tonight, they will move into sole possession of the three seed in the Eastern Conference, which means the two seed is right ahead of them. And you got something to play for. You just won't be, you'll be doing it without some of your best players as we've maybe said this once or twice on the channel before. The Knicks tonight will be without Julius Randle. They will be without Mitchell Robinson. And they will once again be without OG Ananobi. On the flip side, the Detroit Pistons are also battling and dealing with injuries of their own. Cade Cunningham, he will not be playing, as well as Quinton Grimes will not be playing for the Detroit Pistons. So both teams a little bit beat up, dealing with some injuries, uh, but the Knicks come in as 17.5-point favorites. And that means that this should be a game where Shake Milton is playing down the stretch. It would be really cool if the New York Knicks did not have to play Jalen Brunson or Josh Hart or Dante DiVincenzo, or Isaiah Hartenstein in the fourth quarter. But we've also seen that sometimes the New York Knicks like to play with their food a little bit. We, see, we saw them take it to the wire against the Houston Rockets. We saw them take it to the wire against the Detroit Pistons just a couple of weeks ago where Monty Williams had to talk about it was the worst call in NBA history that Dante DiVincenzo was not called for a foul against Thompson. Come out, put in work, get the dub, Ice up and be ready for the next game this week. Continue to stack Ws. That is what the New York Knicks need to do today. They have the best player in the game in Jalen Brunson. They are the better team. This, my friend, Patrick Seaman, should be easy, easy work for Tom Thibodeau and crew. Yeah, I mean, I want this to be a Charlie Brown game. That's who I want to see playing at the end of this game. I'm hoping it's the third quarter comes around. Knicks are up by, like, 30, and then the Knicks can just kind of rest on uh, – Rest on that lead and play a bunch of guys that don't normally get a lot of tick. Um, because a guy like Josh Hart, Jalen Brunson, Devin Chenzo, I mean, to give those dudes like 25 minutes tonight, I, I mean, it would, it would do wonders for them. It'd go a long way. You got some tough games coming up, but you also got some easy ones right in front of you. You got the Pistons. You also still are going to play um, the Toronto Raptors, and you got the, new, uh, the San Antonio Spurs, excuse me. Yeah. That should equal four wins in a row. And with Ananobi out, there's people – um, that believe the Knicks are resting him because they don't need him in a game like this. I don't know if I 100% am going to buy into that. Probably should for my uh, sanity because I stress every day about the injury. But the Knicks should be able to take care of business, even though also Alec Burks is not going to be playing tonight. That just came across the wire. Wow. Burks is dealing with a right shoulder sprain, uh, so he will not play. And it sounds like the starting lineup, once again, will feature Jalen Brunson. Deuce McBride, Josh Hart, Dante DiVincenzo, as well as um, Isaiah Hardenstein. I want to see Bogey get going tonight because it could take, even though it's a bad game or a bad team in the Detroit Pistons, if he could just somehow see three threes fall in tonight, get back in the rhythm, you know, hopefully shake this whatever shooting slump, whatever you want to call it, that he's currently on. I just don't understand how he has been this bad. Yeah. He has been a net negative on both ends of the floor. And he's also one of, like, the most turnover-worthy guys in the NBA on, like, a possession uh, basis. Shout out to everybody in the building. Over 120 people watching. My guy John Pettit hanging out with the real ones. Dave McDrip, T2M Ray, Asher the Gusher, Nick's Galaxy, Time Man the Buckeye, DJ, what up? Mason McGill, Vasquez is in the building, Sports Hulk, Jet Life for Life, everybody hanging out. What up, Bax Cruz? Shout out right, to everybody. Mike. If you could, drop a real one for me in the chat. As Seeps, looks like you've cooked up some sort of crazy uh, yeah. prize picks lineup. So, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS. We'll give you guys a first deposit match up to $100. But this is the lineup I rolled with tonight. I'm going only Knicks players um, with uh, them going against the Detroit Pistons. And then also, you couldn't see it. I did take Jaden Ivey. His more on his points. But I'm taking four Knicks here. I'm going less on Jalen Brunson for 29 and a half. And then I'm taking more on Dante DiVincenzo, 17 and a half. More on Deuce McBride at 15 and a half. Less than 12 and a half points for Josh Hart. 
because I think Tibbs, he's not going to play the fall as too, too much as, you know, I say that. It always kind of ends up not being the case. But that's what I'm rolling with tonight. You guys want to get involved in on the fun. So you got four Knicks, and then you got Jaden Ivey on the... Yeah, I got Jaden Ivey on the piston side. So a little five-man going tonight. A little five-man lineup. You do need to have at least one play from each team. So we're going with four Knicks and one Detroit Pistons in this matchup. You can roll with Seeps' picks or fade his picks. Just do it with our proud sponsor, Price Picks, PricePicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. There is no better time in the calendar, in my opinion, to play Price Picks. Look, March Madness has been crazy, but there's money to be won. Get some lineups. They have all types of awesome deals for new and returning users. And if you use that promo code CLNS, they'll match your first deposit up to $100. Play Price Picks. We love having them as a sponsor. And the only way we're going to be able to keep them around is if people... Uh, show some love. So Vasquez, Vontae Lyles, Mason McGill, Ty Man the Buckeye, I kindly ask for you guys to sign up, use the promo code, and just play. Support the show, support the sponsor, be a real one. All that information will be clickable down in the comments and description of today's video. Let's ride, let's ride. 130 people watching. If you could, please tap that thumbs up icon for me. Uh, the more likes we get on this video, the easier it is going to be to get more people up in here. And we're trying to make it a New York Knicks party. Ain't nothing like a New York Knicks party here on Knicks Now. Crumble Cookies says Pistons are the best team in the NBA. Uh, that is Cap, my friend. That is Cap. What's going on, Jeremy Beadling? I heard Crumble. Yeah, Crumble Cookies is in the chat. Uh, I don't see a great check mark, but it just says Crumble Cookies. Um, I love Crumble Cookies, but I got to stay away. I'm trying to get right. I'm trying to get right. Olivia Rodrigo, that girl. I don't know what that is. No. no. <laughs> there was a TikToker and she was trying the crumble cookies. And one of them was like an Olivia Rodrigo cookie. Ooh. And he's trying them out and he goes, Is this cookie by Olivia Rodrigo? That girl who always be crying. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. J Liv! What's up, man? J Liv in the building says, I tapped the thumbs up at 635. Oh. Right on time. J Liv, right on time. You know who else is right on time? Joey DeLuca coming in with a super chat to support the show. Joey DeLuca always in the building, always showing love. Just being a real one. And I'm not sure it gets much realer than my guy Joey D. Shout out to him. He says, I know Chugs likes our cookies. That's what Crumble Cookie says. Can you send some to us? The last two NFL drafts here at Chat Sports have essentially been sponsored by, not really, we still had to pay, a.k.a. Jack's mother did. Shout out to Jack's mother. Uh, one of the sweetest ladies. Can we get some free crumble cookies this year? Free crumble cookies? That's a bad take. Are you a society? I've never had them. Never had them. Huh. Cookie society? Have you had them? I don't when know if I've that. I've never had cookie society. Joey DeLuca, that's my guy. Jay Liv. Hey, Marsh. Or he says, hey. What's he saying about Olivia Rodrigo? My daughter loves her. She's going to the concert at MSG. Ooh. Ooh. Big dog. Can't hide money, Jay Liv. Oh. Rodrigo, that girl who always be crying. <laughs> you know you got big money like that when you're going to a concert at MSG. For Rodrigo, too, can't, man. Hey, can't hide money, Jay Liv. Asher says Knicks win the finals in four. After the Knicks lost to the Denver Nuggets, I tweeted it out, and I actually do believe this. We're getting a Knicks Nuggets final. I actually believe that. I'm serious. I think we're getting the Knicks Nuggets finals. I do. Um, put it out there. I don't know. Put it out into the universe. We're getting the Knicks. Jim. That's what we got. That's what we got. My sister paid for the tickets. Good Good looks. Good looks. Good looks. Matt C says the feds got Diddy. Now take that. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I know. You don't got to say it. Diddy be Diddy. This guy's going to get us canceled. <laughs> if JB drops exactly 20 points, I'll send cookies. Deal. 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 Creed in the building. He says, we need the three seed to be able to make it to the finals. That definitely will help you. That definitely will help you. But I think if you're healthy, I don't think there's a team in the Eastern Conference that wants to see you. I really do believe that. Everybody say, hey, we want a Knicks win. Hey, we want a Knicks win. Everybody say, hey, we want a Knicks win. Hey, hey we, we want, want a Knicks, Knicks win. win. 
York, go! Go, New 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 York, go! Go
I was trying to read into this a little more. If you want to see where Marshall was right, go to the Knicks Now community page 10 days ago where I said type 8 to get healthy, uh, to help OG get healthy. There's 80 comments calling me an idiot saying he's not healthy. <laughs> or he, he, or is he is healthy. healthy yeah. So um, it's almost like we're sometimes right on the beat of this team. He also said this is about Julius Randle. Randle is feeling good, but hasn't been cleared yet for full contact. Uh, Randall's been doing controlled contact, but hasn't been taking live contact. Randall has been in this stage of rehab for a few weeks. Thibodeau says Randall hasn't had a setback. Thibodeau also said of the three, Robinson, Randall, and Ananobi, Mitchell Robinson is the one that is closest to returning. I think Robinson will be back prior to the end of April. Yeah, uh, end of March, excuse me. I hope he would. Um... This whole thing about him saying Randall hasn't had a setback. I wonder if they're just being ultra careful right now. I wonder if they have like a, like maybe it's two weeks left in the regular season. Knicks have four or five games or whatever it may be. And then it's like, okay, that's the date for Randall. Even if he's ready to go before that, like maybe they're just being very precautionary. We are going to learn a lot about this team in the next month. Yeah. Because we are, ladies and gentlemen, 25 days away from the NBA playoffs. They start on April 20th. We are yeah. less than a month away. It's put up. out a lot about this Knicks medical staff, too. Yeah, it's put up or shut up time. My guy, Will Aquino, coming in with a $5 super chat. Shout out to my guy right there. Thank you for supporting the show, my man. If you got a comment, if you got a question, drop it in the comment section. We'll answer that uh, for you. Just a reminder, as the month of April, uh, it's actually March. As the month of March is coming to a close, we only have so many more games left. So if you want to enter the raffle to win, potentially, this signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo, every $10 you send in via Super Chats this month, will get you a ticket. Reminder, we're also having our March long bank competition, and that's coming down to the wire. It's extremely, extremely tight. And remember, if you want to become a part of our Knicks Now Hall of Fame, got to send in a $100 Super Chat. And if you send in a $500, or if we get to $500 tonight, if we get to $500 tonight, we're going boot racing. As seeps, it looks like you got to update the bang leaderboard because this one's rolling in from Nick DeVito. Bang! Let's go. Nick DeVito coming in with a $50 super chat. Seeps, he is closing the gap. Between him, Johnson Yu, and Anthony Danaher. Yeah, right now he's three behind. So we'll keep you guys updated with this. But David, off, we appreciate it. Reminder, whoever sends in the most $50 Super Chats this month, we're going to get you guys a Knicks jersey of your choice. Or if you want a custom New York Knicks jersey where you choose the number and the name, we'll also hook you up with that. My man David, off, he's three bangs behind Anthony Danaher. I told you last week, He's my dark horse to win it all. Davido, yeah. Because I, I know he's here every show. Yep. And I know he always shows love when he's here. I believe he's going to catch him. Appreciate it. We're still waiting on the sunglasses, Davido. Still waiting <laughs> on him. Maybe we start selling Davido. Oh, I also forgot to tell you. Uh -huh. um, since you didn't want to do the live show on Saturday because you were too busy. <laughs> um, the group and I came to the conclusion we should be selling F. Rolly shirts. We have like 20 shirts. people that said they would buy them. Okay. F. Rolly shirts for the playoffs. I kind of like that. I kind of like it, too. Especially if there's a Heat-Knicks matchup, man. Oh, those, man. Imagine everybody pop. wearing a bunch of F. Rolly shirts for the playoffs. Um, Davidov, we love you. We appreciate you. Enjoy the game tonight. I'll see you post-game. Maybe you'll do some more banging then. Shout out to him. Always, always show and roll. Uh, love. Crumble Cookie says it's extremely, extremely tight. <laughs> it is. Quote it. It is. There's some suction in there. It's so tight. You know what I'm talking about. William Burton in the building. What's up, Burton? When I when you see William Burton in the comments, just call him the February Bang God. Because that's what he was. Yeah. And that's what he is. William Burton. Um, rookie of the year, MVP. Rookie of the one. year. He went from summer league to making the roster to being active to getting rotation minutes to being a starter and now making a push for the rookie of the year and an all-NBA selection. Uh, William Burton has been a legend. Mr. Burton, when you do get that jersey hung up, take a picture of it. Send it to me. I, I, I want to see what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like. 
Jay Liv showing William Burton some love. Rookie of the year and MVP. There is no doubt about it. Shout out to William Burton. Oh, man. A little disappointed we're not getting to see Cade Cunningham play today. Yeah. I'm Ooh. a big fan of his. I really am. I think I'm a little bit more bullish on him than other people. Uh, I, I think it's hard to live up to the number one overall pick when you play for the Detroit Pistons. But I believe he has number one overall pick potential. I do. Yeah, and also like to see Grimes play tonight. He's had more juice to the game a little bit. But, hey, Knicks are favored by 17 and a half points. I, I mean, it's an incredible spread for an NBA game. And I honestly think the Knicks should cover. I think they should cover easily tonight. Um, they just got to bring it. They just got to bring it. I got to update my messenger app, it says William Burton. I saw that it came in. Uh, I don't think I saw it in the frame if you did frame it, but. Either way, when you have it all set up where you want it, I'd like to see it. We could put it on the show. But I did I did get the picture of it it coming in the mail. That jersey looks sweet. David M says, honestly, who picked Detroit tonight? Uh probably Rolly. As yeah. Edward B is calling Rolly a douche in the chat. That's good stuff. Douche. Douche is such a creative word. Stop being a douche. Stop being a douche. Emmanuel Wood says, Why Shake Milton isn't playing? Um, I think <laughs> we should let know. the Shake Milton dreams go to go to rest. Yeah, it's just never gonna happen. Is there? We are gonna see Marcus Sasser and Jaden Ivey man in the backcourt. That would be fun. I am a Marcus Sasser guy. I called him Emmanuel quickly light coming into the NBA draft. Yeah. So the Knicks. I mean, tonight they just gotta handle biz. Handle biz. Get in. Get out. No injuries. Move on to the next. No way! S Teacher Planner in the building! Where have you been, girl? How you doing? Shout out to S Teacher Planner. Welcome back. We missed you. You bring the positive vibes to the chat and you love to make fun of me. Uh, and, I, and I like that. I like that. I like being the, the center of attention of your jokes. They mean a lot. Welcome back. Hope everything's been well. Hopefully the teachers are only giving you somewhat of a hard time. Uh, the kids are giving you somewhat of a hard time at work. Um, thank you for the love. Thank you, thank you. Edward B says Detroit is covering this spread of 17 tonight. I'm gonna be honest, I would take Detroit plus the points. It's a lot of points. For it's an a NBA lot game. of points for an NBA game, especially if the Knicks are up like I mean, they could be up 25 the whole game, and then they just go on an 8 0 run the last two minutes, and then you're covering. I would take Detroit plus the points. I'm gonna go Knicks win 108 to 84. 108 to 84. Cannot see the Pistons getting over 100 tonight. It's the armpit of the school year, and I'm tired. I never tease all love. This was the worst time of the school year. I remember growing up. It's like right after Christmas break. Right like, when you come back from spring break. Yeah, right. And then you kind of got that like month or two before finals. Like, oh, my, I'm sure the kids are raising hell in there. Agreed. I know I would be, especially if you were my teacher. Terrence Myers, what up, man? What up, Terrence? Shout out to Terrence. Yeah, that's my guy. Jay Lips says me too. I would take Detroit. I do. That's just a lot of points for an NBA game. It is. It's a lot of points. And one edit says it seems like everyone has forgotten how good Mitch is offensively and defensively. People keep asking the question if iHeart should start over him. iHeart has been good, but Mitch is way better. I just think that iHeart kind of opens up the Knicks in a different type of way. Yeah. That two man game has almost become a staple now for their offensive attack. Yeah. without Ananobi and Randall. And Mitch is a guy that I, don't, I hope nobody's forgotten how good he is because I believe he is the best offensive rebounder in the NBA. He was on pace to set the best offensive rebounding rate since Dennis Rodman. He's an elite rim protector. He can bully his way through a series. We saw him absolutely dominate all-star Jarrett Allen in a playoff series. And to be honest with you, I would start iHeart. I just yeah. think he complements the starting lineup a little bit better. And like... Robinson's still coming off a major injury. Yeah. Like, I don't expect him to be playing 30, 35 minutes a game when he comes back. Robinson, give me 20 minutes. iHeart, give me 28 in the playoffs. Yeah. And plus, like, iHeart's in rhythm now. Like, it's going to take a little bit for Mitch Rob to get back going. But it could be matchup dependent, too, on who starts, who doesn't. Like, if you want a more – see, the thing is, like, iHeart is physically imposing. Um, I don't know. I, it's it's going to be interesting to see what uh, – how Tibbs plays this. And imagine Robinson coming in at the six-minute mark of the first quarter. That starting center's tired, or Robinson's going up against a backup center. 
Yeah. He will be able to dominate the glass against and them. This allows them to be aggressive protecting the rim as well. Like, I would tell Mitchell Robinson, like, I don't give a damn if you're getting foul trouble. Yep. Like, go be aggressive. Try to send 10 blocks out each and every night in the playoffs because you got a guy in Hartenstein who can step in and do the exact same thing. Yeah. And Tibbs has pretty much hinted at the fact that it's going to be Hartenstein when he comes back. Yeah. Uh, but we'll see. Um, suppose we – Tib said today that Robinson is the closest to all of the players on the injury report to returning. Kendrick Guild in the chat. What's up, Kendrick Guild? Shout out to you, brother. What's up, man? Brian Shannon in the chat. Castro in the chat. Jay Liv says, I dropped a trivia question in the chat. Who was the first player in AL history to win the Rookie of the Year and the MVP in the same year? This was in 1975. I would have no idea. I have no idea. Who is it? Mick, Mickey Mantle? Did he play in the 70s? Nah, that's got to <laughs> nah, be way, way too before. late. Reggie Jackson. I feel like that's like a good that. guess. I'm going with Reggie Jackson. Crumble Cookie says we need to get this show to 40,000 subs. I agree, man. Ooh. I agree. We're getting close. We're getting close. If you haven't subscribed, do it. Hit the sub button. Free informative entertaining updates every day on the New York Knicks. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Jay Liv says Fred Lynn. Never heard of him. Fred Lynn. Carl, what's up, Carl? He says, yo, Marsh, yo, Carl. If we get the win tonight, does that tie us up with the Cavs? No. We have, we would have the tiebreaker over them. Knicks win tonight, they're in the three seed. Knicks win yeah. tonight, they're in the three seed. I um, believe the Knicks have the better tiebreaker than them. And then Indiana and Miami and Philly are a half a game apart between six, seven, and eight. And it's, it's still tight. It's yeah, it's still very. I mean, there a lot. Orlando's right down. on your heels. Yeah, Orlando just keeps on winning, man. What's up, Tamar? Edward B says Knicks lose tonight. They should drop to the seventh seed. <laughs> let's not let's not speak that into existence. How about a win? Let's have some fun. Let's 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 do our dues. What up, Tamar? How you doing? Cairo, what's up, man? Crumble Cookie says the Cavs are playing like if my dog. Oh, jeez. Well, they're without Mitchell, uh, Donovan Mitchell. Yeah. They're without Donovan Mitchell. Pearson, what's up, man? What's up, Stax? And the Cavs do a back-to-back game tonight and Wednesday against the Hornets. Really? Yeah. And they got they actually have the Hornets again to round out their season. So they got the Jazz mixed in there, the Grizzlies. She banging on me like the bank. What's up, bank? Every time I see your name, it reminds me of that Gunner song. We're about 10 minutes-ish away from tip-off. We're at $66 in Super Chats. If we can get to 100 before, let's do a beer shotgun race. Let's do it, because we got to get back to playoff mentality. Playoff here. mentality. Uh, if we get to a hundo before tip-off tonight, we're doing a beer shotgun race. I need to be in the zone for tonight's game. It's the Pistons. I got to bring the energy. I feel like you guys are kind of lacking on the energy right now because it's the Pistons. Y'all are just expecting to roll out of bed and get this W. I don't like the mindset from the chat right now. I'm not going to lie. We haven't gotten a certain something from a certain somebody yet. Mr. ED. I'm a little weird. I am a little weirded little, out. Is he even here? He weary. was late on Saturday. I thought we were going to lose. Oh, that's not good. ED, you know what? We need him every playoff game. He might need to come in before we even go live and no, set the tone. Robert says, Marsh, where do you think the Knicks end up in the seating at the end of the season? I've said it for three months. Seeps has told me I'm wrong. And at this point, I'm just doubling and tripling down. Three seed. I believe the Knicks are going to finish with the three seed. <laughs> I'd be cool with three or four, though. Three or four is fine. We should just be at home for the first round series. I said before the season I thought they'd be the three seed. So I'm, I'm sticking by Sticking by what my eyes told me. Terrence Myers. But Marshall, who's going to be our backup power forward? We signed Dante DiVincenzo over Obi. We don't need another six foot four guard. We have Josh Hart off the bench. We don't have a backup power forward. Remember when y'all were crying like that? How's Obi doing this year? Who cares? Yeah. Not a Nick. Robert says, I want Miami. 
Yeah, Will, if you're the four seed you would, and you win the first round, you would play the Celtics round two. But Marshall. But Marshall. But Marshall, we didn't pay Saquon Barkley, and we replaced him with the 5'8 running back. What are we going to do? That was that was my Mr. Ricks, but Marshall. But Marshall. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Rick? I'm check what? the Bucks schedule here if they can skid at all. Kendrick Gill said, "I I want Boston." I'm with you. Miami says McBride fan here. Mountaineer Nation so proud of him. Nick's got lots of fans in West Virginia now. Go Deuce! Go Deuce! The Deuce is loose. The Deuce has been loose. Averaging 20 plus last three games. He says, What are we going to do? Lose. <laughs> LOL. LOL. Yeah. Oh, we were doing that with him. We were doing that. Yeah, we I did mean, a lot of losing with Barkley. That's why his daughter asked if we were going to win more. If they were going to win more going to Philadelphia. I don't know if y'all knew, though. The Eagles only have one more playoff win than the Giants in the last five seasons. Weird. The media tells me they're the best team in the NFL, mm. and all they do is win the offseason every year because they draft Georgia Bulldogs. Howie Roseman does it again. It's going. It's all going to catch up to Philly eventually. They've had one good season in the last five years where they won a playoff game. And one of those playoff wins was against uh, Christian McCaffrey at quarterback. And Daniel Jones. They really beat some really good teams. Yeah, Daniel Jones and Christian McCaffrey. Got skunked by Baker Mayfield and decided to go out and pay a running back. Yeah. Howie Roseman does it again. Enjoy that uh, $97 million cap hit for Jalen Hurts coming up. Yeah, that's real. Tamar says, I'm an Eagles fan. Don't kick my birds back in. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. T2M Ray Marsh, I'm going to have to respect. We disagree to the fact I'm an Eagles fan, but how he has cooked. Oh, man. Y'all couldn't guard anybody against Tampa, and all y'all did was go pay an aging running back and an aging linebacker in Devin White. Yeah. Hey, as long as James Bradbury's on the Eagles – Y'all are going to be in a little bit of trouble. <coughs> what about C.J. Gardner-Johnson? He's cooked. Yeah, he's cooked. He's brother. cooked. He's cooked. He's cooked. Who's he guarding? Grass? He just talks. He's just, he just a talker. Uh, have fun with Paris Campbell this year. He'll run a lot. He'll get a lot of yards behind the behind the line of scrimmage while in motion. Yeah, he's terrible. <laughs> that brother stinks. He, he, he lost a step. All he did was run behind the line of scrimmage yeah. horizontally. Nobody runs more than one, no, though. Oh, my goodness. 317 people in the building. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. A guy tonight I want to see be aggressive against Dante DiVincenzo. Really had a good game on Saturday. He shot 12 of 24 from the field, just 413 from the three. So even though. I think I'm taking 12 shots now from downtown. Yeah, even though the three wasn't falling, he still found a way to be, uh, be effective. And I want to see him continue. He had some really creative finishes, man. And right. that's that's an area he's gotten a lot better. I mean, he's a sne sneaky athlete. Like, I know how that sounds. But, I mean, he, like. Why would you say he's a sneaky athlete? Everybody knows what I'm saying. I literally he's a don't know. Athlete. So, for the people that don't know, if you could explain it. You know, just by looking at him, you would assume that dude can jump. But that dude can jump. Like, I want to see him get aggressive and keep going to the rim. But coming to Texas next week, is seats available or do I have to book him? I uh, should be available. Mr. Rick, when you're in Dallas, me and Seeps are taking you to dinner. What uh, uh, What's bringing you down? I think I actually forgot to tell you that. He said, he said he might. He only gave me a might, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to overpromise, but he said he might be here uh, in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah. Two four eight says it's a B and B breakout party. Marsh, where's your little brother go, Cullen? <laughs> uh, he's he's out in the bullpen, probably probably doing something for for Petey. Mason McGill's a sneaky athleticism, real fundamental guy. Yeah, let me guess, he plays like a coach's son. Oh, Devin Chenzo plays the game the right way. Oh, John Musgrove says, we win this game, we are the third seed. Exactly. Exactly. Robert says, Nick's Nuggets finals is going to be a movie. A oh movie. Oh, my God, dude. It's going to be a movie. <sighs> it's, it, that's what it's going to be. I'm telling y'all. Nick's Nuggets would be electric. Especially with the full, like, obviously. Nick's would steal game one, too. Yeah. Tim's going to have that game plan ready. Mike Malone's not going to be ready for what hit him. Yep. William Burton. <laughs> that's cracked me up. Appreciate it, Bank. 
335 people watching. We've got the national anthem going on in MSG. We are just moments away. Hit that thumbs up icon. Bo Bo for president. I'm in. I'm in on that. I'm down. Starting lineup for tonight has officially been announced. It will be Brunson, McBride, Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Hart, and Isaiah Hartenstein. Troy Bound, Brown Jr. and Tosan Ebiwaman getting the start for the Pistons. So they're going to have a ton of different dudes coming off the bench tonight that not many people probably know. But they got Jared Roden on the bench. Big East legend. Buddy Bayheim might get some tick tonight. Josh Hart playing power forward. He is. He is. Wait, what did you say? About uh, Buddy Bayheim? Oh, he's, he, he shouldn't be coming off the bench tonight. Yeah, they got um, James Wiseman, Marcus Sasser, Jaden Ivey, Tosan, and Troy in the starting lineup. Yeah, Tosan. <laughs> this is going to be a Marsh look at the box score game. Yeah, definitely. Marsh Madness, baby. Yes, sir. Barkley is 27, White is 26, and Trashberry is no more. Look, man. Just just, just have your apologies ready for me. Have your apologies ready. Brunson for president. You make a great president. The disrespect Brunson needs to be more in the NBA. Yeah, they, every year, every, yeah. every game it seems like he's getting disrespected. How about he gets some calls tonight? Um. I want the Knicks just the first five minutes. This should be 15. Come out and jump on them. Seeing all these one seeds in March Madness, just like how they come up and jump on teams or favored by double digits, like same same mentality tonight. Grimes is not playing tonight, guys. I know a couple people have said something in the chat about Grimes. Grimes will not be playing. Mark K says, is Wiseman going to be schooled by Hardenstein? Probably. Tamar Bull says, JB most improved. Uh, he's improved, but I don't think he'll be in the conversation for that award, and I don't think he should because he was so damn good last year. Yeah. He should have been an all-NBA guy last year. He should be all-NBA this year and not third team. Tosan Evublom. Ev Evbom. Evbomom. Is it a boom or a doom? Have you seen those people on TikTok? No. We're Costco guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're all over my TikTok. Yeah, 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 yeah. I seen my Instagram. Big Justice. Yeah. Moments away from tip off. Reminder we're at $67 in Super Chats. If we get to 100 before the show starts, we got to be a shotgun race coming. Frankie Smokes. What's up, Big Frank? Showing love. Fancy says Bull Bull needs to. All right. Uh, I'm not going to say that. Maya's World says, Marshall Green, I told Allie Barefoot on the Celtics report that if someone sends a $500 super chat, you have to become a Boston Celtics fan for life, and also you have to do a beer boot race. Decline. I don't think I agreed to that. I don't think I agree to that, Maya's World. Maya's World loves making deals, though. Yeah. What's up, Amber? Let's go, Knicks. David M says, how many times does JB get hit in the face per game? A lot. Marvelous. MMF. He said, let's rock and roll, everybody. Let's go. R and R, baby. My man, Tamar Bull says, how many years are left on JB's contract? After this year, he has two, but that second year is a player option. Ginger Turtle, my man, what's up? Work hardy. Amber says, I miss Randall. Yeah. I also miss Randall. I feel like people are forgetting, man. Diehard Knicks fan says, why does Seep's mic sound weird? Does Seep's mic sound weird? I didn't think it sounded too weird. How are we getting this? Is, is Seep's mic sounding weird? Do I need to talk to Brett? Get some real mics in here? Let us know how Seep's mic sounds. Um, try to get that fixed for you. Johnson, you says it does sound weird. Jet Life Force says no. Joey DeLuca says, Seep's, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Joey? Ginger Turtle says, yeah, it's weird. Everyone's saying it's weird. It's weird? Let's try to play around with it. Maybe go grab one, grab a headset, maybe? Yeah, plug that seat in. 
Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just seats. Robot voice. That's weird. Man, it's a little low and muffled, he says. Echo. Wow. Thanks for letting us know. We're never going to know if you don't say anything, so thank you for saying something. Johnson U hasn't been saying anything all chat. He just comes in here to diss our software or the sounds. Thanks, Johnson U. Thanks, bro. Two, what's up, bro? T248 Spida says Burks is out. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Johnson U laughing in the chat. He says just tuned in. Are you, let me guess. You're live from Detroit. Live from Detroit. Tamar says a slight echo. Edward B says at least yours is good. At least that's right. I'm loving the Nike Nick's Nike sweatshirt. Amber, you like it? You like it, Amber? Uh, what would you rate it one one to ten? I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, the reason I bought it is because it was Nick's colors. I like it too. I got a couple of compliments on the on the hoodie today. All right, we're doing some audio tests now, fellas. How does it sound? Because I can't hear it. Let us know. How does it sound? How does it sound? We're getting level, so you guys can obviously hear me. Let me know. Is it better? Is it better or worse? Better or worse? A little professional here, guys. When is fan mail after the game? Tamar Bowl says it's worse. Tamar, stop lying. <laughs> Fancy says better. Edward says better. Mont Montague says better. Seeps is a Terminator, says Darren the Tuber. Mason McGill says sounds pretty good. Right. Stack says it's the same. Junior says sounds muffled. Could be me, though. Do I sound muffled? Because we are using the same headset now. Yeah. Dave says love it. Dave loves it. All right, as long as Dave is good da with If it. Dave loves it, we love it. Or maybe he's talking about my hoodie. I don't know. No, you sound fine, Marsh. Marsh sounds super clear. Can I get someone to give us an honest assessment here? Jackie says the chat's tweaking. Agreed. Thanks, Jackie. Chat's, chat's tweaking. Dave says keep it. Keep it. All right, starting lineup, Troy Brown, Jr., Tosan Evbumawan, James, uh, well, I didn't get to see. Here we go. As we are underway at Madison Square Garden, the New York Knicks hosting the Detroit Pistons. The Pistons will win the tip, and it'll be Marcus Sasser controlling the point. Deuce McBride on him. Sasser hands it off to Ivy, but that's going to be a moving screen. Knicks ball going that way. Great start. Everyone says it sounds all good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Jalen Brunson rocking the green Grinches. I'm expecting a big game out of him tonight. Dante DiVincenzo up top. Swings it to the right wing to Hartenstein. He hands it off to Brunson. Brunson's going to drive. Finds an open heart in the corner. He'll drive to the baseline. Spins. Drops it off. Hartenstein push shot up and in. He's been money with that push shot for a while now. Nick's up by two. Amber says it sounds great. Shout out to Amber. Sasser up top. Going to push it to the left. He'll hand it off to Ivy. Ivy's going to get downhill after the screen. He'll pull up. Foul line. 15-footer. No good. Rebound by Hart. Hart's going to look to push. He'll bring it up. And now they'll slow it down and get in their half-court offense. They'll get it to Hart inside. Hart inside. Back to Hart. A little give and go. Lays it up and in. Josh Hart kisses it off the glass. Nick's up by two. Wiseman, dribble handoff here. I think I believe that's Evu Bomb's going to get downhill. He's doubled by the Knicks. Stolen by Hart. And then it's going to go out of bounds off Hart. Hart doubled with, I believe, McBride, and it goes out of bounds. There's that. SCPJ coming in with a $10 super chat. So shout out to my brother. What's up, man? Thanks for the love. He says, guess who's going to the Knicks versus Heat game? Ooh. Rolly? better bring the energy cpj you should definitely not throw a beer at somebody on the heat team marcus sasser look at it cook step back three good marcus sasser one of my favorite prospects coming out of the class last year he's an instant bucket and he just kind of cooked miles mcbride there mix on top by one 10 20 to go divincenzo up top he'll get it to hartenstein hartenstein looking back door pass to divincenzo Ooh. reverse laying in a little magic in the air from devo Lays it up and in. Seeps, that two-man game. Really, the the passing by Hartenstein has opened up this oh, offense. Great. As Wiseman goes in for oh, the layup. Good contest by Hartenstein. 
Loose ball recovered by the Knicks. Josh Hart will bring it up, and now he'll find Brunson in the corner. Brunson guarded by Sasser. He'll walk him down into the post. He's now doubled. He finds an open. Genzo for three. Boom! Dante DiVincenzo knocks it in, and it's an early timeout for Monty Williams. Knicks up by six here early. Could you have asked for a better start? Yeah, and plus their only bucket was a Sasser step back. Well, Sasser Three. step back. Um, let's come out. Let's put him in the dirt early today. Come out, put him in the dirt, and uh, let's let Brunson and, and, and crew rest in that fourth quarter. Definitely. Hopefully. Joey DeLuca says yes. CPJ says I'm going to be around all Heat fans. God. Hopefully you don't catch something. Light them up. Um, CPJ says I'm right behind the basket a few rows up. Okay, big money. Hell yeah. Okay, big money. You know what they say about money? Can't hide it. Can't hide it. And CPJ, he can't hide it. Seeps, a little five-man lineup tonight on the prize picks. You're trying to win big. Yeah, I'm trying, trying to win, to win big and then tonight. Quit? Uh, you said what? You're trying to win this play tonight and then quit chat sports or something? I mean, if this ends up cashing, you never know, but... You know, I took the less on Brunson's points tonight. I think he's going to have like a solid 20 and 11 and three quarters. I think Deuce, I think he's going to light it up again, taking the more on his. Josh Hart taking the less on his points. I think DiVincenzo, more than 18 and a half. He's already got five right now. And then Jaden Ivey, somebody has to score for Detroit. So I'm going to ride with him at more than 17 and a half points. But that's my lineup. Fade him, ride with him, do it at prize picks, though. Shout out to prize picks. Now is the time to play. March Madness is here. Take advantage of that. They have awesome deals all the time for new and returning users. Um, I honestly believe of all the fantasy sports apps out there, uh, they do the best and give you the best odds to actually win real money. And uh, that's why we're playing, right? We're not just playing for S's, uh, S's and G's, if you know what I'm saying. We're trying to win money. Um, shout out to Price Picks. Please support the sponsor. Um, they, they're an awesome sponsor to have. And the only way we can keep them around is if you guys support them. So um, do that for us. It, it would mean a lot. Chris Rock at the game tonight. Chris Rock. Man, he was so good in The Longest Yard, The Caretaker. I love that movie. I love that movie. Dave says, I sound uh, I sound like a Mets fan. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know. Rashard Lee says, Patrick, do you flex play? Oh, I flex play all the time. Love that. Love that. What's up, Luca? Brian Fitzgerald in the building. My oh man, Brian Fitzgerald, sent in a $100 Super Chat a couple of days ago. He's a new member of our Knicks Now Hall of Fame. Shout out to him. 500 people watching. If you haven't yet, please hit that thumbs up icon. We're just getting rolling here on today's show. Uh, please support. Hit the thumbs up icon. Easiest way to do so. Uh, here we go. Knicks on defense. Detroit will bring it up. Sasser has it. He'll get downhill after the Wiseman screen. Then he'll kick it out for a Pistons three. And that's good from the corner. They cut the lead 2-3. Tamar Bull says, I did FanDuel. Well, you should do prize picks to support the sponsor and use the promo code CLNS. Oh, that's what all the real ones are doing. I heard you want to be a real one, so help us out. Brunson will control for the Knicks. He'll go into the post, has the whole right side of the floor by himself. He'll put it on the deck, spin move, kick it out. DiVincenzo from the corner. That one's off the mark. Good defensive possession there. Ivy will bring it up. You know, he can get downhill. He'll try it here. He attacks and kicks. That's going to be another open three. That one's off, though. Battling for the board are the Knicks and the Pistons. Recovered by Detroit. Sasser will now kick it out. Another three for Detroit. That one's off. This time, it's another offensive rebound for Detroit. That's two in a row. And then Brunson's going to foul Brown Jr. in the paint. He says the sweatshirt. This is Nick's colors, brother. These are Nick's colors. As a Mets fan, it was deaf and insult. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Oh, Lordy. Joey D says, nice lineup, Seeps. Appreciate you, Day D. Love that. Mason McGill. Yeah, I think he was I think he was dissing. Just kidding. Dave's my guy. Both free throws are good there from Brown Jr. And the Knicks are up by just one as we're under nine minutes to go in the first. Brunson will bring it up, gets a screen from Hartenstein. 
He's once again got the whole right side of the floor. He'll kick it this time to Deuce, who launches. Good! Deuce McBride is turned into a knockdown shooter. Knicks about back up by four. Ivy, he'll control, uses the screen. Poked away by DiVincenzo. Hardenstein throws it up to him. Dante's out and running, and he'll lay it up and in, in transition. And the foul! And one, Dante DiVincenzo. The big ragu. He'll go to the line for one more to convert the three-point play the old-fashioned way. I love Dante when he gets out and runs, man. Yeah. Like you said, for, for obvious reasons, he's an underrated athlete, sneaky athlete, uh, deceptive athlete. Uh, athletic abilities are better than the times and measurements, as some would say. But he's he can he can he's got juice, man. Look at Deuce competing. As Dante misses the free throw. Now you got Deuce McBride having putting handcuffs on Marcus Sasser. He'll kick it out to Charlie uh excuse me, not Charlie Brown. The other Brown Jr. That's going to be stolen, though, by the Knicks. Josh Hart has it. It's going to be a Deuce McBride dribble drive kick out. Josh Hart, three. Yeah. Good. Josh Hart knocks it in from distance. See if the Knicks need him to get that confidence back. Oh, man. my God. Yeah, we did. Knicks on an 8-0 run in the last 60 seconds. Hart now will guard Ivy. He'll drive and kick. Wiseman, a deep two from straight on. No good. Rebound by Brunson. He'll bring it up. He's on the right side all by himself. He'll post up Ivy, then swing to Hart. Hart's open again. This time he'll drive off the three, kick it out to Brunson from the corner. Good! Josh Hart being aggressive, creating an open look for Brunson. And he puts the icing on the cake with that triple. Knicks back up by 12. Wiseman, one-on-one. -on -one. Hands it off to Sasser. Deuce on his case. He'll give it up. Back to Sasser. Five on the shot clock. He'll put it on the deck. He attacks Hartenstein. He goes up for the shot. It was deflected. Good defense there by Hartenstein. Active hands again. Brunson's going to bring it up. He wants a triple. He'll step into it. Too oh. strong there. You could tell he wanted that one from the moment he crossed half court. As Ivy, he'll take a triple. That one's off. Rebound by Dante. He'll look to push. He'll bring it up. Finds Hartenstein at the top of the key. Him and Dante play catch. He turns the corner, drop off pass. Hartenstein, push shot, left it short, got his own rebound, goes right back up with it and finishes. Strong move by Hartenstein. As Ivy's going to drive, and they're going to call Brunson for a block. They're going to call a blocking foul on Brunson. Knicks look good. They should. They're playing a terrible basketball team. Yeah. It's just crazy how big of a difference there is between these two teams. Yeah. As Brunson already has two fouls, he'll stay in the game. Ivy drives, kicks to Sasser. Sasser puts it on the deck. He'll now swing. I believe that that was evil Dante in the game. He'll swing it to Sasser. His corner three, no good. Rebound by Deuce. Here comes Brunson. He'll push it up the middle. Now he gets a screen from Ihart. He rejects it, kicks it to Deuce. Deuce to Dante in the corner. Him and Hartenstein play catch. Dante comes off the screen, gets in the paint. Nice pass inside to Hartenstein, who's bat banged. It's going to be a foul on Wiseman. A foul on Wiseman. Let's get this one over with. As that's going to be a pass inside oh. to Deuce, who misses. Deuce went up for the alley-oop layup, and he couldn't get it to fall. As Wiseman, up top, gets to Evil Dante, former Nick, moving it around. Sasser to Ivy. Ivy for three. That's no good. Rebound by Josh Hart. He'll throw it up ahead to Dante into a bad, bad spot, and it's going to go out of bounds off of DiVincenzo unless they call it a foul. Josh Hart pretty much threw him a crossing route over the middle with a strong safety lurking in the box. He's hard. Josh Hart throwing hospital balls out there. Up top. He had to go. Dante gets a forearm shiver there. This is a terrible pass, too. They did call a foul, so good there. Knicks will retain possession. DiVincenzo puts it on the deck. He turns it over. Nope, stole it back by Hardenstein. He cleans it up. 
I'm starting to get the feeling that Hartenstein is back healthy as Ivy drives. Layup no good. Good defense by the Knicks. Josh Hart will push. He'll go all the way. And then he's going to have it ripped, and it'll go out of bounds off Josh Hart. Knicks on a 15-0 run. Bury these losers, says Juan. Wiseman has it. He'll hand it off. Detroit moving it around the perimeter. Sasser will control. He'll be guarded by Josh Hart. Here comes a screen from Wiseman. He'll use it. Gets it in his left hand. Kicks it out. That's going to be a dribble drive. Layup. No good. Out of bounds off of Detroit. Knicks ball going the other way. Knicks defense has been electric. Malachi Flint, first person off the bench for Detroit. As Brunson will bring it up. Knicks up 16. The Pistons haven't made a shot in five minutes of game time. Brunson off the Achua screen. Puts it on the deck. Goes all the way. Lays it up. No good, but he's fouled. Brunson's got two free ones coming. Brunson's got two free ones coming. Pistons on pace for 50 points, says Dave. Two of 13. Not ideal. Brunson heading to the line. He's got two free shots. Is OG playing? No, Darren, he's not. He's not. Dave says Marcus Morris was ejected from the Cavs game. Knicks can get the three seed. As long as the Knicks win, they're going to get the three seed. At least for the time being. Brunson knocks in the first as Evan Fournier checks him for Detroit. Who's better, De Fournier or Bogdanovich? <laughs> it's got to be Bogey still. Is it? It's, it's got to be. He stinks. Brunson goes two for two from the line. Mix up big here in the first. 4.30 to go. Malachi Flynn will bring it up. Brunson guarding him. Achua. Has subbed into the game for Hartenstein. Fournier off the handoff. Guarded by Dante. He'll get into the paint. Throws it into the block. Precious playing good defense there. Forces the miss. He'll grab the rebound as well. He'll advance the pass to Hart. Hart finds DiVincenzo. And now they're going to feature DiVincenzo at the top. Who finds a chew on the right wing. He's going to dribble handoff to Dante. Dante launches. Good! DiVincenzo knocks into three off the left side. Picks up 21. 21. They're on a 20 0 run. Knicks are on a 20 0 run. Sasser, right wing, puts it on the deck, gets into the lane, kicks it out. That's a left wing three for Detroit. No good. Good box out by Achua to secure the board. He'll find Brunson along the right side who brings it up. Gets a screen from Hart. He's one on one versus Fournier. Takes him into the paint, gets to his left hand, lays it up off the glass. No good. I'm going to be honest, Brunson's kind of tried Fournier the last two times they've played him, and Fournier's won that matchup. Malachi Flynn, in and out, dribble, drive, blocked oh by Chua, God. and they called a foul. I don't know about that. I thought that was good, D. they say it was with the body or something? I think I just saw the green light go on. Challenge? As it does look like Tom Thibodeau is challenging the call on the floor. Challenging the call on the floor. Gotta love Tibbs using his challenge in the first quarter of 21 out of this. He said, I want to hold a team to under 10 in the first. Yep. <laughs> CPJ says, Tips has to get Bogey on the floor. To get his confidence back, get him on a roll in this game. I agree. It would be really cool if he could catch fire tonight. I, I agree. Have, have Bogey come out and say, you got the green light tonight. Nick's on a 20 the whole run right now. Incredible. They're cooking right now. 
The Cavs are now up nine against the Hornets. Men OB, now this is how it should be every game. Come out from jump smoking shit. Back. Let Boyan play and hopefully he regains his confidence. I agree. I'd play him the whole fourth quarter. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Knicks minus 17 wasn't a bad bet. That's crazy. Justin says the widow's peak's looking sharp. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate that. On that Pistons pack, we call that mid, Michael. If I, at least that's what I heard they call it. I have no idea what that means. Burks is out. Burks is out tonight. Justin Thomas at the game. Really? Really? LOL, Michael. LOL. Dean Brunson is trying to draw fouls every time he drives to the rim. Every time, no, but I think he's doing it too often. Yeah. Like, just get to your move. If you're gonna, if you beat him, they'll foul you. No one tips. He's probably gonna play Deuce or Hart the entire game. Does Shake Milton get any PT? I'm hoping he plays the whole fourth quarter. Does my dad have a widow's peak? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now that I'm thinking about it. No. He doesn't. I don't think so. My brother does. That's He does, though. I think maybe my mom does. It's hard to tell on a, on a woman. Devin says, what's the score? You forgot to update it? No. Nope. It's 29 to 8, brother. It's 29 to 8. As the Knicks win the challenge. Dibs. They win the challenge. Or no. Yes? Yeah. Yeah, they do win the challenge, but it's gonna the ball will stick with Detroit. Fournier has it top of the key. His step back triple. Good defense. He'll have to give it up. And now the push shot by Detroit is good. Nick's up 19 here. McBride will handle. Bogdanovich checks in the game. It's Dante, it's Deuce, it's Achua, it's Boyan and Hart. McBride all the way hey. throws it down. Bro, he dunks so easy at six foot one. Would you call him a sneaky athlete? <laughs> actually, yeah, I, I actually would call him a sneaky athlete. As Malachi Flynn running the show for Detroit, go move it around. Fournier is going to go one on one versus Steven Chenzo. His step back three in. Wish he could have done that with the Knicks maybe once. McBride will bring it up, gets the screen, kicks it to Hart. Hart's going to go all the way into the lane. Finds an open Bogdanovich in the corner. He'll pump fake and drive. Kicks it out for Devo. For three. Good. Dante DiVincenzo knocks it in. Good pass by Boyan Bogdanovich. Like to see that out of him. Like to see that out of him. Dante already up to 13 points on three or four from deep. Fournier drives. Layup. No good. Rebound by McBr uh, Excuse me, DiVincenzo. He'll find Hart. Hart's going to bring it up. Hands it off to Bogey. He's guarded by Fournier, who swings it to Achua. Who hands it off to Dante. Dante here the corner. Kicks it out to Deuce. He'll have to relocate. He'll catch and fire. No good. Rebound by the Pistons. Less than 150 to go here in the first. As Malachi Flynn drives and kicks. And then he'll get it back after throwing it to Brown Jr. Flynn on the left wing. Has it. He'll give it to the big man. He'll hand it off to Brown Jr. He gets into the lane. Driving, layup, no good. They're going to call a foul on the drive. What's up, Frank Serrano? What's up, Frank? Shout out to Frank. What's up, man? Always looking sharp. Shout out to you, Joey. Shout out to you. OG. What's up, OG? OG? My guy. OG in the building. Malachi Flynn off the screen. Pulls up. Foul line shot. Good. 34 to 13, 115 to go in the quarter. McBride, Hart, and DiVincenzo remain in the game. Tibbs is going to tips. McBride gets it to Precious. Precious at the top of the key. He'll hand off to DiVincenzo, who turns the corner. We're going to get downhill, and he has it stolen and poked away. And now Malachi Flynn in transition will go all the way, and it's going to be a oh. goal 10 on Deuce. He went up for the glass. 
What's up, Carl? We got Carl. We got OG. We got Charles. We got the real ones in the building. Mix up by 17. Deuce will walk it up. Just under 50 seconds to go in the first. Deuce turns the corner. Gets to the foul line. Kicks it out to Bogey. Bogey's going to drive on Fournier, and he has it stolen. And it goes out of bounds off Detroit. Bogey can't even score on Fournier. What happened to him? I have no idea. Because he start, like he played great the first couple games. What's up, Nick? Knicks will have it with 38 seconds on the clock. Now the officials are talking about the call. Monty Williams is moving up there as one of my most least likable, I think, coaches in the league. Knicks will remain with the possession. Deuce McBride throws it in and gets it back and lays it up and in. Do they have Easter peeps in Dallas? Like the candy peeps? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got those. Malachi Flynn drives. Crazy shot. No good. It'll be rebounded by the Knicks. McBride will bring it up. He'll cross half court with 23 seconds left in the half. About a five-second shot clock, game clock difference here. Knicks will hold for a good shot. McBride will be guarded by Flynn. He'll cross over, gets a screen from Achua. He's now one-on-one. -on -one. McBride, step back three, shot blocked. Rebound by Fournier. He'll look to go. He'll throw it up ahead to Flynn, who throws it into the corner. Two to shoot. Kicks it out to Fournier. Gets it off. In and out from three. We'll go to the second. Mix up by 19. Vic says, you guys are so cool. You're so cool, brother. I think I'm giving this an A. Raekwon King, I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, that's an A performance. That's for an me. A. That's an A performance for me. I just want to see Bogey get going, though, man. Like, you're going to have a good opportunity tonight, get some easy shots, some easy looks. Too early to pull the starters for Tibbs, yes. <laughs> The fact that he had three starters run that whole first quarter is ridiculous. As there we go. It's official. We're good. Knicks the are going to win. Have won. The Knicks have won the, Knicks the game. The Knicks have won. As Eric Trump says, let's go, Knicks. Knicks, greater than the piss pats. The piss pats. Get this dub. Still F. Rolly. Let's F and go, Knicks. We're good. It ain't a Knicks now party until Eric Trump's in the building. Shout out to Eric Trump. The Knicks have officially won today. Let's do it. We can all stop worrying if the Knicks are going to win. Eric Trump, he sent in the, <laughs> he sent in the good luck charm. As Mr. Rick coming in, I hate the burster bubble, Mr. Rick. I actually hate peeps. They are. I, I just, I just think they're nasty. That means you have to eat them. Hey, I'll eat them. I'll, I'll try them. I, I only had the yellow ones. I don't know if I've ever had the purple ones. but Buy Seeps some Easter peeps for the next live show. Yo or purple? Seeps is a peeps looking guy. <laughs> he is. You kind of look like a peep. Listen, I'm a big candy guy. I just, I just can't do peeps, man. They're way too sweet. What would you – I am a – they used to call me a gas station All-American back in the day. Oh, yeah. Because when I'd go to the gas station, I would walk out with so much candy. Same. Um, I don't eat candy like that anymore. Do you have a go-to candy? So my new one is the Skittles gummies. Skittles gummies? Skittles gummies. They're the best things I've ever had. They're my new favorite candy. If you guys know about the Skittles gummies, they just came out. Um, they're fantastic. My go-to, I used to be a big Sour Patch Kids guy, yeah. Sour Skittles guy. I love sour candy. My new one now, though, is the Sour Mike and Ikes. Sour Mike and Ikes? Okay. Sour Mike good. and Ikes. I, I just... Mike and Ike, I feel like you get a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah. You get a lot of product, and there's so many different flavors. Yeah. Watermelon Sour Patch Kids, those, those are, are good. heat. I used to be a big Swedish fish guy, too. Still I am. Snickers, Snickers bar, bars, hell yeah. I, I like sours. Brian says Sour Mike and Ike's too many lime and... 
See, I like the one. I like, I like sour lime. As the second quarter is underway, Achua goes to the rim and he's fouled. What's up, Boom King? What's up, everybody in the building? Shout out to you guys. Tony's in the building. What's up, Tony? Tony. I'm not lying. I'm hungry as hell right now. I was going to say, do we swing by the station after this? I'm starving. I feel like I'm low on energy. Probably because I haven't eaten today. That's probably why. First free throw for the Knicks is up and in. Dante DiVincenzo subs in 28 seconds into the second quarter. Why? So he's back Why? in the game. Frank, I love Starburst. They used to have sour Starburst back in the day. As you guys can tell, I love sour candy. Um, you love Starburst, brother. Those pink ones. DPJ says I'm about to get a burger. All right, Malachi Flynn up top. Deuce McBride remains in the game, as does DiVincenzo. He had a 20-second break. Brown Jr. drives for Detroit. His layup, no good. Good defense by Achua. Dante will bring it up. He's guarded by Fournier. Him and Hartenstein play catch, and he swings it to Deuce. Deuce to Bogey. Bogey, corner three. Yes! Bogey knocks it in. Needed that. Let's get him going. Malachi Flynn gets it inside. Big man drives. It's going to be foul on Hartenstein. You want to go grab my food for yeah, me real quick? Gotcha. It was just an order of the steak. I got to get some protein in me. I got to get some sort of food going. I feel, I feel out of energy. Fournier will throw it in here. Big man working up top for Detroit. Throws it to the corner. Brown Jr., three. Good. Pistons cut it to 20. Pistons cut it to 20. We do move into the three-seeded with the Knicks win tonight. McBride will bring it up, gets it to Hartenstein. Hartenstein working up top, trying to create some offense, gets it to Chenzo. Chenzo now uses him as a screen, puts it on the deck, gets it to the paint floater, up and in. Strong take from Dante DiVincenzo. Dante DiVincenzo. As the Knicks force a miss there, here comes Deuce. Deuce will get it to Ihart and hands it off to Bogey. Bogey puts it on the deck. He'll drive. Step back. Deep two. Bogey. Yes! As Fournier has it. Throws it into the corner. Now the pass goes in the backcourt after a deflection. Deuce playing great defense. Gets a steal. What a play by Deuce. Here comes McBride again on the other way. Kicks it out to Bogey. Bogey, pump fake, step back, three. Air ball. Rebound by Achua. Ten on the shot clock as it did not reset. Hardenstein to a cutting Bogdanovich, and what then Bogey the? just throws it to the baseline. No look pass. Uh, <laughs> he has more bonehead plays than I would have ever imagined. Look at that play by Deuce on the steal. Take a candy from a baby. As Fournier up top, puts it on the deck. He'll drive and lay it up and in. Evan Fournier converts on the other end. McBride will bring it up. Knicks are shooting 63% from the field. McBride moving it around, gets into the paint, kicks it out. DiVincenzo, three, good! He's hot. Malachi Flynn, dribble drive, layup, no good, but they're going to call a foul. Steven Chenzo up to 18 already. Nick's up by 25, LOL. Got to love it. Got to love it as Malachi will go to the line for two.
as Flynn will knock in both free throws. McBride will bring it up. I really wish they wouldn't run him into the ground, man. Hartenstein, handoff to Bogey. Bogey into the lane, lays it up and in! Bogdanovich! Go early seven for Bogey here. Showing up on the offensive end against his former team. Wiseman has it. He'll get it to Flynn. Flynn drives right by Bogey, kicks it out, deflected by DiVincenzo. Recollected, though, by Ivy, who drives. Nice pass to Wiseman. Wiseman throws it down. McBride give, brings it up. He finds Hartenstein. Hartenstein will pick his dribble up. Hands it off to Dante. Dante turns the corner. Gets it to Hartenstein. High pass. Turnover. Not a good pass there by Dante. As Ivy brings it up. Crossover left to right. Kicks it out. Is that Buddy Bayheim yes, for three? Yes, it is. Buddy Bayheim knocks it in. And Tibbs needs a timeout as Detroit cuts it to 20. <laughs> Buddy Bayheim. Who would have thought that? We would have been calling that heading into the year. Buddy F. and Bayheim. Buddy Bayheim. We're at the first TV timeout of the second quarter. Really want to make sure you guys are hooked up with Prize Picks. They're sponsoring our watch party today. If you guys download the Prize Picks app, use promo code CLNS when you're making your first deposit. They're going to give you guys a first deposit matchup to $100. This is the lineup I was rolling with today. I went big, did a five-player lineup, but it's two to the six stat projections, and all you guys got to do, you choose more, you choose less. It's that easy. If you guys wanted to fade my picks or ride with my picks, we just ask you guys do do it at Prize Picks. And, hey, maybe you guys are hooked up with some other daily fantasy sports um, apps out there. But, hey, if you're not hooked up with prize picks, you guys should take advantage of that first deposit match um, up to $100. So make sure you guys click that link in the description of today's show. Download that. Use code CLNS. And we'll give you guys a first deposit match all the way up to $100. Support the show. Help us out. No better time to get hooked up than now. Shout out to prize picks. Show them some love. We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. It is looking good for me so far. Um... It's actually looking real good for me so far. I just need Ivy to get going. He's got zero. He's 0-5. Darren says best player on the Knicks right now is Jalen Brunson. You betcha. You betcha, brother. So crazy watching DiVincenzo's, like, just get these open looks he's had tonight. He hasn't had these in a couple months. I mean, the Pistons are a terrible team. They nice stink. Yeah, they're bad. They're horrible. Hey, relegation in the NBA may be coming soon, fellas. It's honestly weird how bad they are. I mean, you can't even like... And, the Knicks took, and they took the Knicks to the wire two weeks ago. <laughs> it's like the Knicks are beat up as well, and it's not even... I mean, they're, it's just two teams on two different levels. Oh, good. The Bulls are off. Bulls got the Wizards tonight. First four minutes, it's seventeen to four, Washington. <laughs> no way. Swear to God. Seventeen to six now. Ah, Jordan Poole. Yeah, ten points early. I don't even think there should be regulation in the NBA. I think they should just take a team away from the East and a team away from the West. Too lopsided right now. It's it it lopsided. is way too lopsided. All right, back to hoops. Brunson, he'll control, left side, puts it on the deck. He'll drive on Ivy, has him in the post. Step through shot, no good. Hartenstein can't grab the offensive board. Here comes Brown Jr. He'll hand it off to Sasser. Sasser Garden by Deuce. Deuce playing good D, forced him to give it up. Ivy has it right wing, puts it on the deck. He attacks Hart, kicks it into the corner. Sasser now back up top to Brown Jr., He'll pull up, left side of the foul line, no good. Rebound by Hart. Josh handling, spin move, gets back to his right hand, he picks his dribble up, he'll find I Hart at the logo. Hands it off, back to Hart, back to her. Oh my gosh, Josh Hart just got swatted by Wiseman.
Brunson will throw it in as the Knicks have nine seconds on the shot clock. He'll do it from the baseline. Brunson drives past Owen. Oh, they're going to call kickball. They go to that out-of-bounds play every time. Yeah, I've noticed that. They're going to need something else in the playoffs. I wonder if today is like a game where it's just like we're just running the basic stuff. Yeah. McBride throws it in, gets it to Brunson, 10 on the shot clock. Brunson's going to use the screen from iHeart, has it in his right hand. Sasser on his right hip, gets to his left hand, in the paint, from the dotted line, good! There's not many better than Brunson operating in that type of setting. Nick's up big. Big, 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 big! Sasser has it. The rookie out of U of H, gets it to Wiseman. Wiseman and Ivy, a little two-man game. Shot no good, rebound by Hart. Hart's going to go. He'll put pedal to the metal. He'll go all the way. Kicks good it out bad. to Deuce for three! No good. Too strong from the corner. Here comes Sasser. He'll push. He'll kick. Ivy tries for three. That's good. So with the Knicks, they run lanes on the fast break so well. Like, I feel like when Josh Hart gets downhill, like he already knows where he's looking, and there's always somebody filling that spot. Deuce McBride at the logo gets to Brunson. Brunson has some work here if he wants it. He'll get the screen. He attacks Wiseman. Nice drop-off pass to Ihart. Ihart drop off to Hart! What a play! Backside cut from Hart. And he lays it up and in. As Ivy from the corner. That time his three's off. But a rebound by Detroit. Buddy Beheim for three! No good. Rebound by Isaiah Hartenstein. He's everywhere. Brunson will bring it up the left side. He'll go to work. Drives into the paint. Looking for a foul. And then he, he got the foul that he's been crying for for two months, and he throws it out of it. Hmm. I don't get him sometimes. What's for dinner? We got some steak over here, some steak slices. Oh, he was. <laughs> what? He, like, went up, and he didn't think he was going to get a foul call, so he's going to kick it out. And then he, like, literally, like, panicked at the last second. McBride gets to sit down. Awesome. Bogdanovich throws it to Hart. It's Hart, Bogey, Brunson, Iheart, and Dante. Brunson pick and roll with Iheart. And oh, he tried to throw it down, but he missed the dunk. He missed the dunk. Great play. Couldn't finish. Ivy drives, kicks, Sasser, three, no good. Look at Iheart after the missed dunk. Battling for the board. Now the Knicks have numbers. Brunson to Chenzo. Chenzo, three, good. Damn. 21 first half points for Dante DiVincenzo. He's on fire. Eight of nine from the field. Sasser trying to answer. Maneuvers his way into the paint. Step back, 15-footer. Good. That's a great move for a kid. A young kid, man. Nick's up 22. Oh, my goodness. Brunson, three. No good. Iheart almost tapped it in. Couldn't grab the rebound. As Wiseman came up with, he throws it up ahead to Ivy. Ivy drives, kicks, Bayheim pump fake, reset, kick, Sasser, three. No good. Rebound by Hartenstein. Him and Brunson battle for it. Now hand it off to Brunson. Brunson cross court to Hart. Hart hand off to Bogey. Bogey, three. No good, too strong. I like the confidence right there from Bogey on that shot. And I like Hart finding him there. Sasser's going to drive, layup, no good, blocked. Hartenstein said, get that out of here. Knicks have numbers. Dante walks into a three. Oh. No good. Hart with the board. Out to Bogey for three. No good. Bogey can't fucking make a shot ever, man. As Ivy drives right at Bogey, he fouled him. I mean, if the dude can't play good against Detroit. All he gets is open shots. As Deuce is set to check back in. I don't get this guy, Tom Thibodeau, man. Shout out to 36,500 subs. You guys are the best. Appreciate it, y'all. If you haven't subscribed, change it. As the first foul shot for Ivy is good. As Deuce McBride, and I believe that was Jericho Sims subbed in. 
Jericho rocking some braids today. Ooh. Who is he? New hairdo for Jericho. I like it, actually. He looks so different with the braids instead of the fro. And the soul patch. Look at Jericho. If I'm Tibbs right now, I'm telling the guys, you get this to 35, you're done. <laughs> Jericho hands it off to Brunson. Brunson kicks to Hart. Hart drives from the corner to the baseline and kicks it to Deuce. Who misses the three. Hopefully that was blocked. Here comes Detroit the other way. Brown Jr., he'll have it. Gets a screen from Wiseman. He'll use it twice. Now he'll just pull up from 17. Shot's good, but no bucket. Offensive foul. Nick's ball going that way. Brunson will bring it up. And we just lost two subscribers. You guys oh, are assholes. Brunson right side to Hart. Hart drives off the three-point line. Puts a shoulder into Ivy. And he blocks his shot. Hart gets it back. He'll not find Brunson. One-on-one -on -one versus Bayheim. Go to work. He'll kick it to Hart. Hart drives. Finds an open. Chenzo for three. Missed it. Here comes Ivy the other way. Ivy into the lane. We're going to call a foul on Deuce. He'll go to the line for two. Jennifer Guerrero says, if you leave, don't come back. Agreed. Another lost subscriber. That's messed up, man. All right, all right, all right. <coughs> David M. says, who unsubbed? I don't know, man. That was mean, though. That was mean. Eight hundred and seventeen people watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Let's go. I would love some Shake Milton minutes today, Johnson. You, I would love them. Oswald, I appreciate that, man. I'm trying. I appreciate the kind words. What's up, Evan? He's heating up. Shout out to 4K Anthony. FGC Hitman, what's happening, Brody? Yeah, 35-point lead may not be big enough. Bashy, what's up, man? Ryan Fitzgerald says 37,000 subs. We're on our way. We're 500 subscribers away from 37,000. What's up, Ty, man? Goat says, how far do you think we can go in the playoffs? I think if we're healthy, we can get to the finals. I do believe that. My, I believe that. I, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. If the Knicks are healthy, they can win the East. Ninja Samurai, what's up, man? Uh, I don't know when OG and Anobi's coming back. I don't know. Otto, yeah, he's passing up a lot of wide open shots. Richard says we're going to the Eastern Conference Finals. I think if we're healthy, we can, we, we can go to the Eastern Conference Finals as well. When is Randall coming back? I don't know. I did see Josh Hart is going to work with J.J. Redick um, this offseason. All right, here we go. 
2.40 left to go in the half. As Ivy's second free throw is good. He cuts the lead to 18 for Detroit. Brunson, who's going to drive, gets Ivy in the paint. His floater up, no good. Jericho battling for the board, but it's going to be hauled in by Beheim. Sasser will bring it up for Detroit. McBride guarding him. We're going to get it to somebody. Ten on the shot clock. He finds Ivy at the top of the key. Ivy, jab step, gets to his left hand. Now crossover back to his right. Pull up Jay, in and out, back down. Tough move by Ivy. Got it to 16 here. 16 point lead. Uh, I know Tibbs ain't happy about that. 8 0 run for Detroit. Brunson off the Jericho screen. Gets into the lane. His push shot. No good. Two bad shots in a row by Brunson. Move the ball, bro. He's been off tonight. Yeah. He's... Brown swings it to Ivy. Ivy's going to deuce. Now step back for three. No good. Rebound by Brunson. Brunson's going to put it on the floor and go. Gets back to his left hand. Guarded by Sasser. Take him into the post. He will. He's doubled. He swings to Deuce. Deuce has an open three. He'll take it. No good. Knicks offense has gone stale. Knicks offense has gone stale. Under 120 to go. Sasser running the point here for Detroit. He'll get a screen from Wiseman. Put some pressure on the rim. He'll drive and kick to Bayheim. Bayheim three. No good. Rebound by Josh Hart. Hart throws it away. And then Ivy misses the layup, rebound by Hart. Knicks have numbers. It's a five on three. Hart to Brunson. Brunson walking three. Good. Jalen Brunson trying to find the range. He does that time. Knicks back up by 19 with 50 seconds to go. The Josh Hart experience. Big rebound, throws it away. Big rebound, assist. Ivy doing open Brown. Brown, junior three, Shoot. air ball. Wow. Rebound by DiVincenzo. 35 seconds to go. This could be a two for one. Dante gets the screen. Still has some time. Now he'll just slow it down. He'll get it to Brunson. Brunson has it. 24 on the shot clock here. About a 15 second shot clock, game clock difference. Brunson's going to go to work on Ivy. He's got him dancing. Now he's doubled. He'll find Deuce. Deuce back to Brunson. Brunson just rises. Misses the three. Wish he would have got to his spot. Sasser with the shot clock turned off. will cross midcourt with seven on the shot clock. He'll get a screen from Wiseman. He'll get to his right hand. He pulls up, and he's fouled. As Sasser will go to the line for two, with 3.6 seconds left in the half. Sasser's first free throw is good. Three point six seconds, you can get a decent look here. Sasser at a U of H. Knocks in the second free throw. As Brunson will throw it in. 3.6 seconds. Let's get a quality shot here. Brunson throws it to Hart. Hart back to Brunson. He crosses half court. Two and a half to go. Brunson into the lane. Got a shot off and he missed it. And he looks immediately at the ref. That dude sure does cry a lot now. What I'll tell you what, if I had to grade this first, I'd probably give him a B minus. Like I think it was a good first half. Second quarter, like, they were terrible. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you came out, you blitzed them, and like I get it, it's tough to get up for these games against the Pistons. But I mean, Divincenzo, if he didn't go for twenty one in that first half, it could be tighter. Still good though. Monkey Juice, what up, man? Uh, 
I don't love that every time Brunson misses a shot now, it's just a wet ref. Because the thing is, Brunson, you're probably not getting fouled every single time. I gotta run in the restroom real quick. You wanna hop yeah. on? Go. I'll be right back. It says Rolly. Hold on, everybody. You guys know that's not the case. All right, we'll dive into some stats here from the first half. Um, Overall, good. I mean, you're up 17. You know, not going to complain too, too much, but definitely took the foot off the gas pedal there uh, in that second quarter. No doubt about that. But DiVincenzo, really, yeah. I mean, especially the first six minutes of this game, I mean, the Knicks went on a 20-0 run in the first quarter, but Pistons have been maintaining a little bit. DiVincenzo came out firing. I mean, it's crazy seeing, you know, Dante, like, once he is getting, like, these wide-open looks, how easy, like, these shots do come from him in comparison to, like, when, you know, teams are flying around, doing everything they can for he can't get that shot off. But um, I thought he looked good, 21 points, 8 of 11, 5 of 8 from downtown. Uh, Josh Hart just doing Josh Hart things. I sort of got – if I had to put – money on a Josh Hart stat line every first half, it'd be 7, 8, and 3. I, I feel like that's been the case for the last, like, two or three months for his stats at the end of the first half. But, yeah, Steven Chenzo shooting the ball well, 5 of 8 from downtown. Can't complain there. Um, Tim Savage edits. That's, a, that's actually somebody I want to talk about. Yeah, Bogdanovich. Um, saw a couple shots go in. Um, still had uh, two careless, careless turnovers, but... You know, I'll take it with Bogey. Um, I just wish in a game like this, like, especially for a dude who's been struggling, is to, like, just see a couple shots go in. Get in rhythm. Because, like, the NBA, especially with the regular season, you know, especially ending the playoff time, like, you know, like, hot streaks aren't quarter to quarter, game to game. Like, it could be week to week. And if you could somehow get Bogey to a spot where he's coming into the NBA playoffs and he's hunting his jump shot and he's, like, foaming at the mouth to get that off every single time, like... I think this would be a great second half where it's like, hey, Tibbs, hop in the playbook. Whatever plays you have to get shooters open look, let's run those for Bogey to see if he can, uh, see if he can get going because the Knicks are going to need to have like a couple games this postseason where he has a game. And, you know, getting them going would be a, you know, a great way to do so. But Jalen Brunson also coming in. He had 10 points, 3 of 11. Uh, just a little off. You know, it's tough for JB right now. I feel like he could get to his spot whenever and just, you know, shots aren't shots aren't falling for him tonight. But I'm not again. I'm not really too worried about this. Like, this is a game for the Knicks. I'll call it as a. I'll call it as a check the box game where it's kind of like a show up, do your job, go home, get out. Like you know what you're supposed to do. You know what you need to do to get the win. Just comes down to doing it, and then they'll get out of here. It's me and my Knicks saying bogey shot is water. His misses don't be that off the mark. I mean, yeah, today he was he was hitting back rim on a couple of them. Yeah, he got to step up, Terrence. I'm with you. Just watch the second half. Scott Bonnet Brunson will catch fire. I hope he does, man. Hope he does. Juan, hey, Uncle Patrick Seaman, how's your beard today? Oh, it's great, man. It's great. Haven't actually cracked one open yet. But, yeah. B minus, we're letting them stay in this game. Yeah, I mean, listen, if I'm Tom Thibodeau, here's my half halftime speech. I'm looking at Brunson. I'm looking at Josh Hart. And I'm telling the fellas, if you guys want to rest and you guys don't want to play the fourth quarter, get this to 25 plus and we can get on out of here. Yeah, Michael Zavala. I, I mean, Bogey can have that. I, I forget what game it was. It might have been against the 76ers right after the All-Star break. And Bogey had a second, uh, a first half or maybe it was like a second quarter, third quarter where he tore it up. Aussie saying there's a lot of open shops, shots, and they were building a house. Yeah, I mean, a lot of open looks. I mean, Deuce was struggling from downtown. You know, he's one of six, seven points. So, you know. Oh, you're talking about bogey, Terrence? I got you. I got you. Yeah, no doubt.
Oh, they're trying to throw shade at me on Saturday? Yeah, no, nah, it's all good. That was, that, that was my off day of the week. So hopefully you guys showed Cohen a good time. But McBride is a defensive menace, and that one out-of-bounds play was nice. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Deuce, like even going against Sasser tonight, like obviously not like a big time, big time matchup for Deuce, but just the way like the way Deuce moves his feet. Like, you know, we talk about like active hands here on the channel a lot, like getting hands in passing lanes. Like Marsh and I talk about deflections always being so huge. Like Deuce has just he he's just got active feet. Like just watching him just chase dudes around screens and everything, man. Like, I'll tell you what, he just he just fires me up because he's a dude who got it, you know, just off hard work. So, I mean, even though he's missing shots, I still thought he was fine. Um, Terrence saying Miles is the player of the month. Uh, he, shit, for the Knicks, man, he, he, he might be. He, he, he might be. But Hartenstein, I thought, started the game off solid. I mean, that's a hell of a stat line from Isaiah Hartenstein. Six, eight, and five on. He only played 15 minutes in that first half. But one thing to note, Deuce played 22. DiVincenzo played 21. Josh Hart played 20, and Jalen Brunson played 16. Tibbs, like, shouldn't be close to 40 at the end of this game. So I tell him, tell the fellas, you guys get this lead to 25 heading into the fourth, chalk it up as a win, and we go home. Is, uh, is Mr. Rick still watching? Mr. Rick? I don't believe so. I haven't seen him in the chat in a while. So as I... Uh Came back from the bathroom. I looked into uh, we had in the snack drawer. It's some peeps in there. Oh, we had peeps in the snack drawer. We had peeps in the snack drawer. Those may be since last Easter. Yeah, there's no way those are still good. <laughs> yeah. I also am. Uh, I'm putting a deal out there for the real one. If someone sends in a hundred dollar super chat, I'm doing a beer poop. Hey, if we get a half, we'll make it a race. Mar Bowles says, what happened at Crim's dad? <laughs> That's a great question. It's a great question. If we get a 100-hour super chat, I'm doing a beer shotgun race. And reminder, every $10 super chat you send in this month gets you a raffle ticket to win this signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. The month is coming to a close. So if you are interested in winning this, you uh, get your raffle tickets in. Yeah. Get your raffle tickets in. Um, I want one of the real ones to win it. I want one of the real ones to win it. So if you want to win it, you want to have a chance to hang it up in your man cave, um, do it. There you go. Father Ling says Bogey will be okay. Hope you're right. Hope you're right. I don't have much confidence in him right now. What's the deal with OG? He's hurt. He's hurt. I try to tell you guys. I try to tell you he's hurt. Brian says 100 to eat that peep. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know. The peeps are from last year. The thing is, if I ate that peep for 100, I may not be at work for the next three days. I will eat some peeps for 100. <laughs> They're probably we'll, terrible. We'll split one. We'll split one. If someone sends in 100, we'll eat the year-old peeps. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Or you guys, you, you, guys, you guys stay we'll in your the super old chat. Peeps, or we'll do the beer boot. Uh, they can't be good. Yeah, there's no talk on OG. It's just that he's hurt. He's just hurt. Evan Pence has no idea what a peep is. It's like a duck in marshmallow form that you eat for like Christmas or Easter. It's literally just a thing full of sugar. Not going to lie. To know my... Uh, Matthew says they don't go bad. I don't, I don't know, know, man. Those didn't look good. I think the package has been open as well. Yeah, and they looked hard. I yeah, remember I, I saw them like a month ago. the package has been ago. open for a year. Matthew says, uh, or someone said something. I was trying to explain it. What happened to Isaiah? Nothing. Yeah, exactly, William Byrne. It ain't like Seeps has missed a show before. <laughs> Chill out, WB. Everybody was like, where were you on Saturday? <clears throat> Resting. 
Oh yeah, Michael Crick says, "When does body body contract run out?" My mind literally told me he said, "When does body count stop mattering?" <laughs> but you know, my mind messed up. Doctor Pepper Peeps. I've never heard of that. I gotta look this up. Hold on, fellas. Oh my God, they're a thing. That doesn't sound fun. It's a long halftime here. Said seeps you, my man. Bronx boy, it's your birthday. I Would you guys? Tr <laughs> I don't know if I want that. Yeah, I don't know if I want that. Quentin Gilliam, yeah, peeps are trash. That looks nasty. T2M Ray, if you can get your hands on a lot of sour Mike and Ikes, send them to your boy. Send them to your boy. <laughs> See, was out, exactly, exactly. He was out with the sisters. It's out with the sisters. Joey All this uh, candy talk, we might have to swing by the gas station. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be eating candy. You guys got to chill. So it's be no sugar. No sugar. No sugar. I was getting lightheaded up here because I hadn't eaten anything. Today. I know. Steak was good, though. Great steak day. I'm, like, still hungry, though. Might cook up with another steak when we get to the house. Sour candy with the teas. I don't know what that. Jackie, I have no idea what you mean by that. <laughs> Marsh on that keto? Marsh is damn near on a keto right now. I'm trying, Brian. I'm trying. All protein. I'm trying to go all protein, man. It's the carnivore diet's I, hard though. It's I saw hard. some crazy. It was Jordan and his trainer. They're talking about like when he wanted to, like add a ton of weight, dude. He would have a steak before every game. Really? Yeah. I saw some of Tiger too. Tiger used to say he used to have like a steak a day. Bronx boy says I got some protein for you. Bronx boy, watch it, dude. Ozempic? I'm not doing Ozempic. Come on. What is Ozempic? <laughs> I, I don't want to say it on air because I don't know exactly what it is, but I have. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got Yeah, yeah, I'm not doing that. No, no, no. That's nah. disrespectful. Brian says it's working, bro. You slimmed up. We have. We've lost some <laughs> weight, man. We've lost some weight. We're trying. We're trying to seeps in trouble. Yeah, game two, he doesn't want. It actually been... might benefit him because I can't body him up as much. That is true. Um, I've been playing a lot more, too. Ever since that one-on-one -on -one loss, it's been like it's triggered something. I've been at OA a lot more. No, nah, Mark, I know. I know. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> Sour heads are good. I like sour heads. I don't drink soda. Um, I don't drink soda. Michael Pass says peeps are disgusting. Yeah, I'm honestly glad nobody sent that in. Yeah, seriously. Terrence Newman, he has gone Hollywood on us. <laughs> I'm never going Hollywood on y'all. Yeah, I got to get some Skittles gummies after this. No doubt. Toxic waste, Juan. Those were like, what is that? Like super sour candy. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's like Warheads, like to another level. Your mouth is literally watering. Oh, I know. I literally. Melpster, brother, we're we're praying for you, man. That sounds awful. That sounds awful. Uh, this is a candy channel. If you guys don't know. Oh, yeah. This is now yeah. the, the New York Candy no. Now channel. Yeah, it's actually Candy Now by Chat Sports. I'm going natural, T.O. I'm going natural. And I already have, like, I don't think I, 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 don't think I can medically take those after with my other underlying health issues. All right. Second half underway. Knicks start with it. Up 17. Brunson into the lane. Fake shimmy. Follow a good. Brunson getting us started. It's up to 12 points, 4-12 from the deck. 
Ivy gets it up to Wiseman. Wiseman top of the key, guarded by Hartenstein. He'll hand it off to Brown Jr. Turns the corner, floater up. No good. It's going to be loose. Brunson battles for it, and they're going to call a kick ball. It's going to be Nick's ball. Olympic works. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. That's why everybody does it, but I, I can't. No disrespect to anyone that does. Brunson in the post. Step back two. Good. Comes, up, comes out in the second half. I don't think he wants to play in the fourth. Sasser up top. Gets a screen from Wiseman. In and out. Dribble. Sidestep. Mitty. Good. It's a big time bucket for him. Hart finds Brunson. Brunson puts it on the deck. Step back. Three. Good. And one. Jalen Brunson. Back to back to back buckets to start the third. And Jalen Brunson's looking for a four point play. That was nasty. That was nasty. Yeah, exactly, Brian. First time he got fouled in a week. Tom Saunders, the green ones. The green ones. I think they're reviewing this to see if it is a flagrant. He did kind of undercut him a little bit. <clears throat> Josh Hart rocking some Kobe's as well. I like those gray ones. I know, I do too. Those are clean. My opinion on Twizzlers, I like uh, I like the strawberry ones, but I'm not a huge Twizzler guy. Like, if I'm going to a gas station, I'm never buying Twizzlers. Yeah, Twizzlers one, I don't think, that's like, I feel like that's like a kid birthday party or. I'm only eating Twizzlers if someone around me has it and I'm like, yo, let me get one. Yeah, yeah. Runs it up to 17 points. You can make it 18. I used to love, nerds are good. I like nerds as a kid. I like those nerds gummy clusters. Those oh, those things are. Those are crack. So good. He did, Ramon. Let me turn it up real quick. Let me turn it up real quick. I mean, he... Still reviewing this call to see if the guy landed, uh, Brunson, had his landing space uh, penetrated. Oh, man. I can't wait till real basketball starts. Uh, this is, this is I'm over this. I'm over this. <coughs> hey, yo, Johnson, you. Giants on top. What's up, man? He says, please notice me. Been a fan since the 2021-2022 Knicks season. Oh, yeah? Were you turning into watch parties then? Were you of the channel? Were you watching watch parties then or what? I believe they just are calling it a regular foul. A regular foul. Michael says, Marsh, you coming down here for the Yankees game? You talking about the you talking about Yankees Astros? Maybe. I've thought about it. I've thought about it. Mr. Rick is in the chat. Mr. Rick, we have peeps at the office. They're a year old, though, and we're scared to eat them. So, <laughs> I don't know. We said if someone as Sasser stepped back too good, he's tough. He's tough. Dark milk, white chocolate. Hot take? I like. I think white chocolate's better than regular chocolate. 
I love white chocolate. I'm a white chocolate guy. Doesn't make me thirsty. Hartenstein hands it off to Brunson. Brunson turns the corner. Pull back. Foul. Now he rips through and it will be fouled. <laughs> Johnson, you. Yeah, they didn't like Will Scott. They didn't like Will Scott. That was funny. Reese's Sticks, David M., very good. Yes. Terrence Newman says, I was the 39th subscriber. Nick's up 21. Brunson gets it off the catch. He'll launch a three. That one's no good after he made three shots to start the, the quarter. Banks says, are Marsh, are you okay? I'm great, brother. What's up? <laughs> Nick's are just dominating. I can't get mad at anything. Sasser drives. He's going to be fouled. Stale peeps. Yeah, we got some stale peeps. Do we eat the stale peeps? The amount of preservatives in those peeps, they'd probably last a zombie. <laughs> exactly. Exactly, Bronx boy. For real. Anthony Dana her in the building. What's up, Anthony? Brown Jr. off the screen. He'll get into the lane, kicks it out to Sasser. Sasser drives, throws it up to Wiseman. What? That's got to be an offensive interference call. It is. Who, who said it this morning on ESPN that UConn could? Greeny. UConn could beat this Pistons team. I, I, I actually think with this five they have out there right now, I would. I think UConn would compete. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Man, Steve. Hartenstein handling it for the Knicks. He'll hand it off to Deuce. Deuce turns the corner, gets downhill, into the lane, kicks it out. Hart now dribble drive. His floater up. No good. Rebound by Detroit. Here they come. Sasser, right wing, gets the screen, uses it, drops it off to Wiseman. Wiseman push shot good. He would cook them. Sasser and Wiseman would cook them. Yeah, but like. Tristan Newton and Sasser are like the same. I mean, they're like the same dude right now. I think Klingon and Wiseman would even each other out. 15 on the shot clock. Hartenstein's got it on the right elbow. They're going to post up Brunson versus Sasser, and he's fouled. He's fouled. Mark K says, is there a way to see when someone subscribed to the channel? I don't think so. Michael, if I'm there, we will definitely meet up, brother. I, I don't know, though. I would say it's not all that likely I'm there. Dante knocks down a three. Dante DiVincenzo knocks it in from deep. He's 6-9 from the field. He's got 24 points. Ivy puts it on the deck, gets it in the lane. His shot no good. Rebound by Josh Hart. Here he comes. Hart's going to go all the way. And then he kicks it out to a Dante DiVincenzo three. Bang! Nick's up big. Sasser into the lane. Floater up and in. Nick's up 23 with under eight to go. Brunson blows by the defender. Steps back. Finds Dante for three. Oh! Bang! Dante DiVincenzo's on fire. He's got 30. Three Vincenzo. Making it rain in the garden. Dante DiVincenzo. The big ragu. I think it was John Musgrove who said cowtails. Cowtails used to be my shit. I don't even know what that is. They are so good. Biohazard, Dante Inferno. I, that would be the goal, John Pettit. That, that would be amazing. Well, we are at a TV timeout, though. I want to let you guys know about today's sponsor, and that is Prize Picks. If you guys go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS, use promo code CLNS. You guys will get a first deposit match up to $100. This is a lineup we cooked up for tonight's game. DiVincenzo, RDS 30, so thank God it took his more on 18.5 points. Jaden Ivey, though, he needs to get it going for me. 
or else this lineup will not cash. But whether you guys fade my picks, ride with my picks, please help us out and download the Prize Picks app. Make your first deposit, and when you do so, use promo code CLNS. We'll hook you guys up with a first deposit match up to $100. Get hooked up today. It's a ton of fun. Basketball, it's about to really get going here in the NBA. And plus, March Madness, back at it this Thursday, so make sure you guys make some lineups. Let's ride, let's ride. Anthony Dangerhurst says, what up, Seeps? What up, He's Anthony? He's back. He's back, man. What do we think about the Cavs pack? I don't want to call it Reggie. Um, it's not good, though. Pop Rocks, Brian Fitzgerald. I, I never saw the allure of Pop Rocks. I think Isaiah will score 10 points. It's going to be close. Needs four more. I bet you he does it. Dante better break that ball. Piston Fournier three. <laughs> yeah, eight threes right now. What's the most threes hit by a Nick in a game? He's got to be getting close. Bronx boy, you are something, brother. Is it actually your birthday? I feel like I've told you happy birthday like five times this year. <laughs> is it actually your birthday? So the record for most threes in a Knicks game is Evan Fournier and J.R. Smith with 10. DiVincenzo's got eight right now, so three more. He says it is. How old are you turning? 19? How old are you turning? 19? Johnson, you says it's his birthday tomorrow. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's actually my birthday today. Yeah. As Ivy gets to the mid range, picks up his dribble, then pass cross court, shot no good. It's going to go out of bounds off Hartenstein. It's going to remain here with the Pistons. What's the record for most birthdays in a year? Bronx Boys trying to beat it. Bronx Boys trying to beat it. Dante's true shooting percentage tonight is 103.8%. Everybody type an HPD in the chat for the Bronx boy. That's my guy. Mata Shout out to you, Bronx boy. Sasser drives from the corner, and it's a moving screen on Wiseman. Next ball going the other way. Nick's up 26. Do set the logo. Hands it off to Josh Hart. Hart gets it to Brunson. Brunson on the right wing. Going to use the Achua screen. Trying to get downhill. Guarded by Ivy. He slipped, and they're going to call a tripping foul. They're going to call a tripping foul on Detroit. Seven minutes to go. Hart catches the inbound pass. Immediately gives it to Brunson. Put on the shot clock. Brunson's going to use the Achua screen. Gets downhill. And they're going to call a moving screen. Wow. Dude, there's a whistle every... Every possession of the last, since the start of the second quarter, man, it's brutal. Yeah. NBA's got to change something going into the next regular season. Sasser guarded by McBride. He'll pull up top of the key. His shot no good. Rebound by Deuce. He hands it off to Dante. He'll bring it up the right side. Ivy guarding him. He'll blow by him. Drives through the baseline. Finds Brunson who pops it over to Hart for three. No good. It's going to go out of bounds right by the Knicks bench. Dante or Detroit ball going the other way. Josh says, nice cup. Thanks, bro. Six thirty left in the third here. Starters are in outside of a two as in for Hartenstein. 
McBride doing a good job on Ivy. He'll drive, drops it off to Wiseman on the screen. He finishes over Achua for two. Fourteen point game. Nick shooting forty nine percent from the field. Detroit thirty five. Brunson guarded by Malachi Flynn. He'll take him one on one. Drives middle, kicks it to Hart. Hart to Dante. Dante for three. Good. Oh. Every time he lets it fly, it drops. He's two away. Dante DiVincenzo is two points away, or two threes away, for setting the single game record for most threes made as he blocks Ivy twice. But this time, Wiseman comes up with it. Hart will bring it up the left side. Going to get a screen from Achua. He'll reject it. Drives left. Drop off to Achua. Achua push shot good. I feel like Tibbs makes his center shoot I, that push shot every just, day of practice. Yes. All centers on the Knicks have been great at that. Imagine if Mitch Rob could ever get that. Yeah. Sasser off the screen. Drops it off to Wiseman. Wiseman finishes no good. Rebound by Deuce. Deuce will bring it up. Now find Brunson. Brunson one-on-one. -on -one, gets into the lane. He's doubled. Good defensive play by Sasser. He knocked it out of bounds. That's where the Knicks will throw it in from. Anthony Danaher. Danaher! Happy birthday, Joey, my man. Always showing up. That's family. DiVincenzo, three, go! Oh! He was fading out of bounds! <laughs> and he knocks it in! Joey, it's your birthday, too? Dante has ten threes already. Wow. It could be a record-setting night at the Garden. Sasser drives, drops it off to Wiseman. His little finish around the rim is good. His birthday's March 14th. Yeah, we did happy birthdays for Joey. Shout to Joey. Shout to Anthony Danaher. That's love. Hart to Dante. Dante for, for three. Oh. He missed it. Battles for his own board. It's going to go out of bounds off the Knicks. Detroit ball going the other way. Watch Tibbs. Now this be the game. He doesn't play DiVincenzo in the fourth quarter. As the Garden crowd is on their feet. They want They want to see Dante DiVincenzo set the record. For most threes made in a game. As Dante gets a steal. Hart Pull throws up. it up ahead to him. He'll drop it off to Brunson who lays it up and he smoked it. Achua taps it up and in though. I thought Dante was going to stop and <laughs> transition. He's going to run out or something like that. Mix up 30. Oh, uh, good. Sasser drives. Attacks Achua. His layup no good, but he's fouled. One more three, and he t he breaks it, right? He's tied it, right? 10 of 14. So that. Dante DiVincenzo has tied Evan Fournier and J.R. Smith with 10 three-pointers made in a game. That is a New York Knicks record. Could go for Clay's record tonight with five more. Remember when... A lot of people were upset that the Knicks signed him instead of Obi Toppin. Yep. That was funny. That was funny. Sasser's second free throw is good. And he cuts the lead to 29. People are saying Grimes. <laughs> Brunson will bring it up. He'll have it. Swings it to Deuce. Deuce to Hart. Hart to Dante. Dante wants the three. <laughs> Detroit pressing up on him. He'll get it to Achua. He'll now cut through. Achua has it. He'll drive. He'll push shot from the foul line. Good. That push shot has been a weapon for him and Hartenstein really all year. As Wiseman's going to attack Achua, he'll go through a whole series of spin moves and throw it up off the glass. I still think there's some ability that Wiseman has that he could be a rotational big on a championship team. Just score so well. Brunson walks it up. He's met by Malachi Flint. They're trying to get it to Dante. He's guarded by Fournier. Oh, just ISO. ISO and pull for three. Dante guarded by Fournier, and then his pass is stolen, and he gets it back. Oh, here we go. Then he gets it to Deuce. Deuce lines up a triple. That's here no good. Is. Josh Hart with the offensive rebound. He'll drive. Gets it to Brunson. Brunson drops it, and it pops right to Dante. Back to Brunson. Brunson drives. 
has a step on Sasser, lays it up and in. Jalen Brunson extends the lead to 31 with 240 to go in the third. I guarantee you Tibbs is not going to now play him in the fourth. Sasser, his floater, no good rebound by Hart. Hart's pushing up ahead to Deuce. Deuce in transition is fouled on the ground. He's, uh, he's being guarded by Fournier. Fournier ain't letting him break that record. Yeah, true. Oh, this game has turned into, let's see if Dante can get the record. Go along wall and let Dante shoot, says Brian. F it. I'm down. Light little 36 for Dante. He's had some high-scoring outings this year. So I like a DiVincenzo 30-point game in the playoffs. It's going to hit. He's one away, 4K. He's one away. Get on my nose I don't know why Brunson is still out there. Man, he's taking a chance. Some three Vincenzos in the chat. We can get some three Vincenzos in the chat. Dante is our new Starks. To be fair, you did say 35. We're up 31. Yeah. Let me get to 35. I did say. Tibbs, halftime speech. Get to 35. Y'all done. The big rat goo. It's gonna be crazy. Like when Randall and OG come back, like Dante being like a fourth or fifth option in an offense is gonna be deadly. And hopefully OG's healthy and you got two forty percent corner three point yeah. shooters on the floor. Did they change the MSG score bug changed from 90 to 50, 87. Danny McGrath is in the chat. What up, D Murda? What up, McGrath? Says this is the score they should have had the other night. Love to see them winning, though. What's up, fam? Everybody show Danny McGrath some love. Give me a DM in the chat. Yeah, stress free game today, Danny. We needed it. We needed it. Why did we lose a three? I have no idea. Danny McGrath getting some love. Brian Fitzgerald says, DM my ace. I love the uh, Danny McGrath and Brian Fitzgerald connection. Macho Man says, finally a game worthy of DM. Look at everybody showing Danny McGrath some love in the chat. Bronx Boy says, DM, it's my birthday. Bang me. <laughs> Is that legal? Is that legal to say? That's crazy. Everybody's showing DM some love. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't understand why they took away three points. Um, both free throws are good for the Knicks, though. They're back up 30. It's my birthday. Bang. Oh, Dante's back down to nine threes now. No way. Yeah, and the box score just updated. Was he out of bounds on one of them, maybe? Remember that one time? Oh, fading from the left corner? Oh, wow. As Deuce will bring it up. Nick's up 30. McBride will get it to Dante. So I think he needs two more threes. Yeah, now he by four two. He gets it to Hart. Hart back to Dante. He'll drive baseline. Pass stolen. Pass stolen. Yeah, Dante has a three taken away. Saying he was out of bounds. Since when is that reviewable? I, yeah. As the Knicks force a miss, Josh Hart pushing, throws it inside to Achua, and it's a turnover. Terrible pass. Danny McGrath says, whoa. <laughs> yeah, that was a whoa line there from the Bronx. Boy, it is his birthday. 
Okay, so you're telling me in a playoff game, like... Can you go back and change that? I mean, dude, that was like... That was like three minutes of game time. As Detroit lines up a three, and that's good. Dante will bring it up. Fournier picks him up at half court. He gets a screen from Achua. Now swing it cross court to Hart. Hart to Bogey. Bogey three. Bang! Hey. As much as I would like to see Dante break that record, I want to see Bogey start to light it up too. Get that confidence back on track. His threes is off, has also looked like good tonight. It like has. The misses have been just been back iron. So. McGrath wish, wishing the Bronx boy. Some happy birthday love shot to Danny. Fournier will throw it in. He'll now get it off the handoff. He'll drive. Floater from the foul line. No good. Rebound by Achua. Strong board by Precious. He'll get it to Dante who brings it up. Dante getting the screen here as the Knicks are up by 30. He'll swing it to Deuce. Deuce to Dante. Dante wanted to throw it to the corner. Now relocate to Achua at the top of the key. Precious has it stolen. It's going to be a run-out dunk for Malachi Flynn. McBride handling for the Knicks. Gets a screen from Achua. He'll cross over to his left. Stops and pops. Foul line jumper. Good. Strong bucket there from Miles McBride. Having another really good game. And maybe that's just what we need to come and expect from him. And this is the player he is. As Fournier catches it off the right wing, he'll get into the paint, put the shoulder into Bogey, bucket, good. You see some KT tape on Bogey's back going up to his neck. That's new. Is that because, maybe I won't answer it. McBride going to get a screen here from Bogey. Jeez, and it's going to be an offensive foul. This dude's. Brian Fitzgerald coming in. Brian Fitzgerald. $5 super chat. What's up, man? Thanks for tuning in and being a real one. That's a Knicks Now Ring of Honor member right there. Shout out to Brian. Says erase Fournier from New York Knicks history. Let's go, Dante. For three. Also, big up for my boy Danny F. and McGrath. Love that. Love that. Danny McGrath, a legend. So is Brian Fitzgerald. Everyone watching tonight's show. You guys are real ones. Shout out to y'all. Mike Lowe, that comment is crazy. Bogdanovich is trying to claim he was pushed by Buddy Beheim. Danny McGrath, I don't know what Mike Torres is saying, but um, I guess he didn't like it. I guess he didn't like what the Bronx boy had to say. <laughs> We're just having fun, Mike. It, it, it ain't that deep, brother. A bang here on Knicks now is when you send in a $50 super chat. I think Bronx boy was asking Danny to send in a $50 super chat for him for his birthday. Um, no need to get weird about it. Irish legends. Brian and DM. Hey, I'm Irish too, baby. I'm Irish too. We're just a bunch of Irish MFers. JJ McCarthy just went from plus 3,000 to be the second pick to plus 550. If he goes number two. That would be wild for the draft. Mike Torres, we're good, Brody. Yeah, I don't know what they're reviewing. It's a 28-point game. Let's make a call and let's move on. No, Danny McGrath, you're the general. You're the general. I'm your foot soldier, soldier Danny McGrath. I'm your foot soldier. Tom Thibodeau's challenge is successful. They're changing it to a defensive foul. The Knicks will maintain possession.
Now Bogdanovich will go to the line for two. Wow. Dave says, FYI, the Cavs won. Also, I think this has been the longest Knicks game of the year. Has it? I think so. It's been long? Because like, I'm looking at like other games that started. Like They're already like six minutes left in the fourth. Yeah, they took a three away from Dante. They said he stepped out of bounds. Said he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, I'm with you, Airsoft. All we got to do is win. As Fournier is three at the buzzer, no good. No good. We're going to the fourth. Give me some fours in the chat. Fours in the chat. Shout out to Danny, Michael, BSG, Ty Johnson, Brian Fitzgerald, King Ja, Michael Crick, Suave, Dylan, T2M Ray, Ty Man the Buckeye, Jackie Chan, Frank, Jennifer, uh, Common Sense, Tom Saunders, The Last Letter, Rodolph, Ty Man the Buckeye, David, what up David, Juan, Mike Torres, Ken Slay, me and my Knicks, Zach Barber, Eric Wright, Suave, Carl, John Pettit, Mike G, Gabe says, can someone tell me why Bogey, Juan LaGuardia, Macho Man, get on my level, Philip R, Luca, Angel, Brother, uh, Bank, Lou, Roy, what up Roy, John Thotty, John Thotty, time in the Buckeye, be banging on me like the bank, in Sunit. Thanks, Galaxy. My man, my man, my man. Max Payne Media in the building. What's up, Max? Shout out to everybody in the building. We got 900 people watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Let's go. We should be the best defensive team in the league. We're up there. We're up there. But I think Isaiah was coming back in probably. Probably. Luis, damn, even the NBA referees are stealing shots in New York. Yep. Yep. Bank says, Marsh, can you hit a bank shot over me? I'd cook you, dude. I'd cook you. You see me cook seeps? Nah. I, I, I'm no good. I'm no good. Operation get Dante's threes. I wouldn't mind if Dante doesn't play in the fourth quarter. I wouldn't mind if none of the starters played in the fourth quarter. Johnson News at Detroit, we're only down 29. That's only 10 threes to take the lead. Celtics. What'd you say? Atlanta Hawks just came back down from like 20 against the Celtics. Oh Fourth quarter underway. The five on the floor for the Knicks is McBride, Hart, Achua, Dante, and Bogey. Hart's going to bring it up. Drops it off to DiVincenzo. Chenzo gets it to Achua. Trying to force him the ball. They'll just move it around. Now Josh Hart has it. He gets in the lane. Backdoor pass to Bogey. Who lays it up and in. Great off-ball movement there. I think nine assists for Josh Hart. Fournier drives, throws it up. Oh, my God, posterized. Detroit throws it down. Ninety-seven, sixty-eight. 68 McBride will bring it up. He'll get it to DiVincenzo. Gets a screen from Achua. Puts it on the deck. He's being pressured by Fournier. And now drop it off to McBride. Ride to Achua. Achua is going to get it to Dante. Dante uses Please, the get screen. Him off, dude. Trying to create some separation. He'll just pull up right in Fournier's face. He misses it. Ball's tapped up. Recovered by McBride. He'll swing it around to Bogey. Bogey to Dante. Dante to Hart. Hart's going to drive. Gets it in the lane. Throws it up to Achua. And he dropped it. Achua now battling. And it's going to be stolen. Here comes Detroit. Flynn has it. I think we're, 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 we're trying to get Dante some. We're overdoing yeah. it. 
Fournier, guarded by Dante. He'll pull up. That's for three, offensive, dude. And then Evan Fournier just throws a shoulder into Dante's face, and they're going to call a foul on Stephen Chen. I'll tell you what, Fournier's being a little. <laughs> being a little He's being pushed right now. Look at this. What? <laughs> what? He should be ejected for that. He literally just leaned into it, man. Like. Yeah, game's up 30. Who cares? But leaned into him with his elbow, and he's going to the line. That was some scummy shit. Yeah, boom. 138 to 89. What's up, Max Sanchez? Yeah, exactly. Now Fournier wants to play defense, Carl. Exactly. Yeah. McBride will bring it up, gets to Dante. It's guarded by Fournier. He finds Bogey off the curl. Bogey, step back, 15-footer. No good. Deuce battling for the board, as is Hart. But Malachi Flynn pulls it down. He'll throw a lob. Pass stolen by Hart. Terrible pass by Malachi. Josh will look to push. He's got Dante open for three. Too strong. No good. He gets his own rebound. Then he pops it to Bogey in the corner. He'll launch from three. And that's Come not on, even close. Bogey? Is Bogey broken? It's a bad look. As Fournier drives, he just froze DiVincenzo. Yeah, Fournier sucks. TM2 Ray wants Fournier sucks in the chat. We can get Fournier sucks in the chat if y'all want. <clears throat> Vikings think Justin Jefferson is very excited about what's possible with the new QB. Bit short on that. Well, we do go to the fourth quarter. Make sure you guys are hooked up with our proud sponsor, Prize Picks. Seeps, where are you stacking up on these? I'm actually doing pretty solid right now. DiVincenzo I took us more than 18 and a half, so that's good. I got Brunson less than 29 and a half. He's at 20, so that's good. Deuce, I had more than 15 and a half. He's got 11. I need five more out of Deuce. Josh Hart has seven, so that's good. Jaden Ivy is at nine, so it's, so it's going to come down to it. But this is a lineup we rode with tonight. If you guys wanted to fade it or ride with it, hopefully you guys did do it at Prize Picks. Daily Fantasy Sports made easy. Number one in the game. Check them out. You guys won't regret it. I literally use it every single game I watch, man. Especially for blowouts like this, like this Pistons game, I actually have something I'm going to be looking forward to for the rest of this matchup. So hopefully you guys uh, do get in on the fun. March Madness also starts back up this Thursday. Great slate of games. So download that. Use code CLNS. We'll hook you guys up. Don't worry about it. To bring some juice to the fourth quarter, if we get a $100 super chat, I'm doing a beer boot. Let's do it. Let's bring some juice. I'm asking the Knicks to finish strong. Seeps, I got to finish strong. Yeah. Let's I got to finish strong. If we get a $100 super chat, I'm going beer boot chugging. Beer boot chugging. Nick's up one. Oh, I'm bad at math. Is this 24? 24. 24. Let's close them out. Let's close them out, man. Come on. Carl says Fournier is literally embarrassed. Yeah, he's he he stinks. As Richard coming in with a ten dollar super chat. Shout out to Richard. Reminder: every ten dollar super chat you send in this month gets you a ticket into the raffle to potentially win our signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. Richard, welcome to the raffle, my man. Says, what would it cost us to get Ant Man in New York? Uh, I don't think there's a price. I don't think that the Timberwolves are going to trade Ant. And if they did, I believe that they would be asking for Jalen Brunson. And you can't buy something if it's not on the market. And yeah. Anthony Edwards is not on the market at the moment. Um, Maybe they start to struggle a little bit in Minnesota in a couple of years, and then he forces his way out, and then that opens up a pathway for a trade to happen. But I would say right now uh, he's just not available. 
felt. He would be so live in the garden, though, every yeah, night. It would be I mean. electric. So I don't, I don't know. As Brunson checks back into the game for some reason, 24 point game. We're putting Jalen Brunson in Come the game. Come on, dude. Like, as Dante DiVincenzo sits down with 33 points, he's 9 of 15 from three. Why is he, dude, like, Tibbs, this is ridiculous. I mean, we're at the home stretch of the season. Yeah. Brunson at the line, getting showered by MVP chance at the Garden. His first free throw, good. First free throw, good. Brunson extends the lead to 25 with 9 minutes and 10 seconds to go. What's up, Charlie? Brunson, second free throw is good. Is good. As Eric Trump coming in with a $10 super chat shot to ED. He says, last minutes for Brunson. <laughs> LFG, let's go, Nick, Seth Rowley. What do you think? <laughs> I'm As not. we got a wedgie. We got a wedgie. I'm not saying anything. I mean, literally, if Tibbs is playing him right now up 26, Eric Trump, like, I, I, just, I, just, I just don't know anymore. Like, I don't know either. As it's going to be a jump ball after there's a wedgie. On the Malachi Flynn jumper. It's going to be a Chua jumping for the Knicks at midcourt. Mayhor Mirza says, bye, no answer. Okay. I don't know what I did to you, but bye. A Chua is going to jump it up, and he will win the tip. Deuce McBride will come up with the loose ball. Brunson brings it up, guarded by Fournier. In and out dribble, trying to blow by him. Fournier's doing a good job on him. He'll have to spin and kick it up. Drops it off to Hart. Hart guarded by Fournier. He'll blow by him. Lays it up and in. Strong take by Josh Hart. Bye, Marsh. No answer. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Bye. Fournier drives, kicks. Josh Hart has 9, 13, and 9. Doing it again. Got Jaden Ivy, two of 14 tonight. Yeah, Alec Bergson played tonight, David. As that's going to be a three for Fournier. No good. Rebound by Achua. As we got eight minutes to go, Knicks up big. Brunson drives by Fournier. Finds Bogey in the corner. He'll launch. No good. Achua battles for the board. He'll be fouled. He'll go to the line for two. LOL, terrible, Marsh. I don't know what i do to some of these people to just upset them, Danny, but I try my best to give everybody attention in the chat. I, 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 there's over a 1,000 people watching. It's hard. Travel Vibes, what's up, man? Achua, free throw, no good. As Dante DiVincenzo oh checks back God, in with dude. the Knicks up 28. Exactly, Jennifer. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Second free throw for Achua, no good. Wow. Sasser will bring it up as there's eight minutes to go, and they're down 28. They'll get it to Fournier. Fournier back to Sasser. Sasser guarded by Deuce. He'll push him to the left. He gets back to his right hand. He'll pull up from 14. No good. Rebound by Hart. Hart's out and running. He may go all the way. He drops it off to Brunson. Brunson reverse layup up and in. Nick's up by 30. Josh Hart needs one <laughs> more point for a triple-double. Alki Flynn. He'll put it on the deck. Now he'll step back. His triple. Good. What's up, Valentina official? Brunson gets a screen from Achua. Puts it on the deck. Gets into the lane. Lays it up and in. Jalen Brunson just toying with him now. Knicks are looking good as they're up 29 with seven minutes to go.
Brunson's up to 26. Fournier running the offense for Detroit. Gets into the lane. He's fouled and one. It's Deuce McBride's about to cross over 40 minutes tonight. Deuce McBride, 40 minutes and a 30-point win over Detroit. And Josh Hart and DiVincenzo are about three minutes away. <sighs> Bentley Rev says, thanks for always the energy up match in the game. I'm trying, man. This has been a hard one for me. <laughs> this um, has been a like, I'm trying to do my best. Oh, gee, what's up, man? He says, you know, Tibbs, if it ain't broke, yep. he's not fixing it. A strong win with a healthy team is all I ask. Oh, gee, you're right. At some point, I just have to realize Tibbs is going to tip. My man. DiVincenzo off the screen, kicks it out. Brunson, pump fake, drive, layup, good! Jalen Brunson starting to heat up. Yeah, he's getting him conditioned for the playoffs, Jalen. Danny McGrath says 139, seven more minutes. We need a lot of points. Fournier drives, kicks, Sasser, catch and shoot three, no good. Brunson taps it up. DiVincenzo with the board. He's in transition. I thought he was going to stop and pop. He doesn't. He hands it off to Hartenstein. Fournier, Fournier is grabbing him. I wouldn't like, mind. Come if, on. I wouldn't Give mind on. if Dante just gave Fournier one of oh, these. Oh, I love it. Dude, you the hardest. Played that hard on defense for two years for the next. No, I'm serious. Fournier has never played this hard in his life. God, he's freaking smothering him, man. Oh! <laughs> as Hardenstein throws it in the heart, layup, no good. As this one's rolling in from Danny McGrath. Bang, bang. A hundred dollar super chat from Anthony Danaher. Everybody drop an AD in the chat. Drop an AD in the chat. Anthony Danaher showing major love here on a Monday. Or it might be, yeah, it is Monday. Shout out to him, man. Anthony Danaher, he has taken a major lead, Seeps, in the bank competition. Johnson U was just one behind him. But now Anthony Danaher, he takes a lead of three in the month-long bank competition. I got a beer boot coming my way. Now Kai Flynn puts it on the deck. He'll drive on Hartenstein as Josh Hart secures the triple-double. Good for him. Sasser's going to drive on McBride. He'll lose it. And then it'll go out of bounds. Then it'll go out of bounds. Oh! oh! Three! Point goal! Goes right up! And Bang! Down. The Ghost Rider! Hey! Hey! Coming in with a $50 super chat. Show him some love. He says, why is Brunson still in the game? Tom Thibodeau. It's crazy, Ghost Rider. You're up 30. You got a lot of injuries. But hey, let's play Brunson 35. Let's play McBride 40. Hart can't get a night off. <laughs> if somebody matches Ghost Rider right here, we'll make it a race. All right. Seep says if someone sends in another $50 super chat, we're going beer boot racing. I'm in. As Dante DiVincenzo for three. Oh. Airballed it. He was aiming. He was aiming it. He was aiming it. I just want him to get this to get Fournier off his case right yes, now. Yes, and I don't want Fournier to hold that record. As Malachi Flynn drives, and he's going to be fouled by Josh Hart. Shout out to the Ghost Rider. Shout out to Anthony Danaher. There's a reason that both of these dope-ass people are part of this Knicks Now Ring of Honor. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. As Julius Randle sitting on the bench for the New York Knicks. He's iced out. He's iced out. Malachi Flynn off the screen. Throws it up top. Sasser, step back, triple. No good. Ball's going to be batted around. Malachi Flynn will control it. He'll launch. No good. Rebound by Hartenstein. Ghost Rider says salute to the chat. That's love. Brunson will bring it up with five minutes and 20 seconds to go. He'll get it to Dante. He's guarded by Fournier. He'll get the screen. He'll pull up for three. Good! Dante DiVincenzo has tied the New York Knicks single game record for the most threes in a game. He's one away from breaking it. 
Scott, He's one away doing? from breaking it. Stick at the Fournier. Good. As DiVincenzo gets an off-ball foul on Evan Fournier, and he raised his hands and said, ah, finally. One more three for Dante, and he will hold the record of 11 threes made, which is the most in franchise history. Can he get it done? Can he get it done? He's at the line here. First free throw, no good. There we go. As Shake Milton is coming in the game, Jalen Brunson will sit down. Look at Tibbs. As the Garden is on their feet, cheering on their point guard, number 11, the captain, the MVP, Jalen Brunson. Even Chenzo knocks in the second one. Oh! Oh, gee! Oh, gee! Oh, gee! Oh, gee! Oh, gee! Let's go! For the real ones! Can I get five entries for the pick? OG, you got it, brother. Of OG, course. we got you. Of course, my man. Of course. OG, a legend. Dante in the corner. He wanted to take it. He couldn't get it. Now we'll take it. Oh. Almost banked it in. We're just going Dante DiVincenzo Hutton. Everybody give me an OG in the chat. Give me an OG in the chat. Shout out to OG, the OG of Knicks Now. My man is a legend. Shout out to OG. A thousand people watching. Can I get a thousand people to get an OG in the chat for me? Let's go. Let's go, OG. OG, baby. Reminder, if you want to enter the raffle like OG just did, every $10 super chat you send in this month will get you a ticket to win the signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. It's pretty damn cool. Um, I think this will look great on somebody's wall in a man cave or woman cave. Check it out. Check it out. $10 super chat could get you this beautiful baby. Shot to OG. As Josh Hart will go to the bench with four minutes. Has that happened this year? As it's a chew uh, Good thing Hart signs on a minute restriction, seeps, and we got him playing up 30. Get him the fuck out of the game. Sorry, that was unnecessary. Get him out of the game. McBride crossover into the lane, goes and lays it up. A little bit of peanut butter and jelly from Deuce. Brian Fitzgerald says, I owe AD a boot. Yes, we do. We got it at the end of the game coming. We got a boot coming for Anthony Danaher, and Seeps is going to race me. As Deuce will bring it up, he gets it to DiVincenzo for three. Too oh. strong. Dante, too strong. Thought Eric Trump was coming in at the perfect time right there. I did too. Dante D Inferno. Shout out to Eric Trump. Anthony Danaher says, Joey, if I win the bank comp, it's all yours. Wow. 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 That's like. Yeah, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. Seeps are gonna is Seeps is gonna go get the boots. Let's ride, let's ride. Shout out to all thousand people in the chat. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Free, informative, entertaining updates every day on your New York Knicks. The number one place on YouTube to watch a Knicks game. Anthony Danaher, that's love, bro. That's love. If I'm DiVincenzo and uh, Tibbs tries to take me out, I'm not coming out. I'm not coming out until I get this right. Macho Man says, hey, DM, you were right about them scoring 89. Danny McGrath, he knows ball. Danny McGrath knows ball. Thinks it's for real, Joey real. He, Joey's always here. Always showing love.
And he says, I agree, send a bang one more time. Who needs to sing a send a bang one more time? All right, we got our boots ready. Let's ride. Let's ride. A little happy dad boot here. Shout out to the real ones. Cheers. Oh my God. That sucks. Oh my God. Vincenzo three! God! Dante DiVincenzo sets the record for the most three-pointers made in a New York Knick game. He's got 40. Get the zeros in the chat. Oh, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I had this nice dinner and I'm going to throw it all up. <laughs> Dante DiVincenzo, the big ragu. Get the zeros going in the chat, baby. Dante DiVincenzo. Cash, 11 of 20. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. I'm back. I'm back, boys. We're back. I'm scared that last one was going to be a throw up. As that's going to be a three, no good for the Knicks. Dante DiVincenzo, man. 11 through. I mean, that's. Wow. When did Ragu start making hot sauce? Giving the Pistons indigestion. <laughs> I love that. I love that, macho man. Giving the Pistons indigestion. Creed, you know ball. Because that three is no good by Beheim. This one is all but over. I'm back. I'm good. Danny McGrath. Legend. As a chua under the rim, no good. I couldn't, Dylan. I couldn't. Now I did. I had to. South Holland, where you been, South Holland? That's my brother right there. Good to see you, man. A 40 bird tonight for DiVincenzo is crazy. Save some for the playoffs. You can win a game with DiVincenzo in the playoffs. Yeah. He can win you a game. As Achua knocks in the second. As the Knicks have emptied the bench finally. And they will just play the timeout. Malachi Flynn, three, good. Brian Fitzgerald says, check that super chat. We did get a super chat from Brian. That's on me. Brian Fitzgerald, my man. Thank you, brother. Sorry we didn't see it faster. Um, 
as that's going to be a run out dunk and transition for Detroit. Doesn't matter. It says savor our victories, gentlemen. Irish mob in full force. Dante F. Fournier. Yeah, the F. Irishman Fournier. showed up today. Fitzgerald, everybody. Dante. Ugly Gang says, Marsh, I'd love to see Shake Milton get some playing time. He's getting some playing time. As Daquan Jeffries knocks in a three. Gregory Williams with a $10 super chat. Thank you for the love, brother. Says, Double D does it in style. What a game. Let's go, Knicks. Tell them, go New York, go New York, go, go New York, go New York, go. As the birthday boy, the Bronx boy. Everybody give me some HBDs in the chat. He says, Dante Cutlets breaking records. Shout out to Bronx boy. Happy birthday, my man. The Bronx boy, we love you. We appreciate you. Even though nobody banged for you tonight, Bronx boy. Um, you're a legend, brother. I can't believe he said that. That was so that funny. Was so funny. The Bronx boy, we love you, brother. Happy birthday, man. Thank you for always supporting this channel. It's his fifth birthday this year. <laughs> As the Knicks are up 124 to 96. And we're under a minute to go. That's going to be a three for Buddy Bayheim. No good. No good. Rebound by Achua. He'll bring it up. And he'll give it to Shake Milton. Milton throws it. It's going to be a Milton drive and kick. Nick's just moving the ball and killing it Jesus now. Christ. And they're going to call it travel. He says, this is my real one. This is my real one. Yes, it is, Bronx boy. Yes, it is. Look at Maya's showing everybody love in the chat. Maya's world, we love you. Bayheim three, good. And that will do it. The New York Knicks are going to defeat the Detroit Pistons. 124 to 99. 124 to 99. Brian Fitzgerald says, hit the music. <laughs> hit the music. Go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. Let's ride, let's ride. John Gardner in the chat. What's up, John? Oh! Point go, Danny, do, 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 McGrath, bang, bang, the Irish mob, stand up, murder them, break them, a bang for Bronx boy. Happy birthday, playoffs. Let's go, Knicks. Go, Knicks. Everybody show D Murder some love. Everybody drop a DM in the chat. The Bronx boy. Shout out to D. Do, do, do. Murder. He's got murder on his mind. And so did Dante DiVincenzo as he set the all-time New York Knicks record for most three-pointers made in the game. He breaks the record previously held by Evan Fournier and J.R. Smith on the night the Knicks play Evan Fournier. Good for Dante DiVincenzo. What a legend. Appreciate you, McGrath. Danny McGrath.
Danny McGrath wants a shotgun. I think we could do that. I think we could do that. We could do that. We could do that. I'll do a shotgun. Oh, just give me a sec, okay? Just give me a sec. Tommy's still tummy in from the boot. Tummy is still tummy in from the boot. Vasquez says 23 field goals, 23 pointers. <laughs> the modern day, man. Brian Fitzgerald says Danny the boss McGrath. Never doubt him. Never. Never doubt Danny McGrath. He is always going to come through. He is always going to come through. Dante DiVincenzo said, according to the Bronx boys, could totally be a lie. He says, the best fans in the world, and this is home to me. DD just said, animal. He's an animal, baby. Shout out to him. 40 point seeps. It's incredible. The kid's a bucket, man. 20, He's 20, a bucket. 23 pointers attempted is wild. 23? <laughs> Against the freaking Pistons. <laughs> Bronx boy, I just like messing with you, brother. I just like messing with you. It's my guy. Anthony Dana Sherher says, I love this family. Cheers, guys. Dana Her, we love you, brother. Shout out to you. Um, I'm going to put a deal on the table here. Do it. I'm putting a deal on the table. If somebody matches Danny McGrath's hundred dollar super chat, we're going beer boot racing again. Chiefs oh. <laughs> wasn't ready for that. Chiefs <laughs> wasn't ready for that. If someone matches Danny McGrath's super chat, oh, we're this, going beer boot racing. The stomach's gonna be. We're off camel. tomorrow. I don't work tomorrow. <laughs> My only off day this week is Tuesday. It's it's Monday night. <laughs> F it. F it, dude. F, F it. it. F it. The boots are booting. I'm feeling it now. If someone matches Danny McGrath, who's got his back? <laughs> <laughs> you guys should see Seeps' face on this screen. I'm my stomach's off. already going right now. No, I'm all in. Let's do it. That fired me up. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this one's rolling in from Danny McGrath. Bang! Bang! D. Do, do, murder. Let's go. Oh, I really wanted someone to I know. match yeah, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny is always going to match himself. If no one's got your back, Danny, you got to have your own back. Hell yeah. All that matters to me is I saw some people in the chat talking about going halvesies. They were about doing it. They are about to do it. Danny, Anthony Daner says they barely finished the offer and Dean Myrtle was all over. <laughs> he already had it typed out. He was. He was. <laughs> all right, we, we are going to do the post game first. Yes. Just for the stomach ain't, you know, for the we are coherent during the post game. We are coherent. Let's talk about the game. Let's do the beer boot. Um, Celebrate Dante. All I'm saying is we can't let Danny McGrath always do it. Somebody else has to step up. Somebody. There's plenty of step-uppers in here. Danny McGrath is just a freaking soldier. He's our general. He's the captain. He's our general. All righty. Let's talk about it. The New York Knicks beat the Detroit Pistons 124-99. We've got injury updates for Randall Robinson and OG we're going to talk about on today's show. Big win. Dante DiVincenzo sets the record for the most three-pointers made in a game by a New York Nick. Darren the Tuber came with a $2 super chat. Shout out to him. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. This one's rolling in from 
Anthony Dana Her Bang Bang Dana Her from half court Bang Everybody drop an AD in the chat Everybody drop an AD in the chat for Anthony Dana Her he is on his way to being the bang god for the month of March. A.D. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. Dana Hurst says, I'll drop another hundred for back-to-back. -back. I can't do two more boots. I can't. A back-to-back -back boot would be a throw-up. The best I can offer is we have the Celtics crew in the studio over there. I only have one more boot left in me. Seeps has one more boot left in him. There's Ali Barefoot and Smitty in the studio across from us. The Celtics just blew a 30-point game, and they're ready to drink. They are saying this. If someone sends in another 100, one of them will join the boot race. If another person sends in 100, they will join the boot race. So we could have a four-person boot race. Anthony says, get Allie in here. If, if someone sends in 100, Barefoot may join. And by May, she's probably going to have to. If someone sends in another 100, Smitty's going to have to do it. Pretty much if someone sends in two 100s or a 100 and then another 100, we're 200 away. 200 away from a four-way boot race. That's the best I can offer. If I do back-to-back, -back, I'm effed. I'm effed. Well, someone's trying to get us there as this one's rolling in from... Anthony or Nick, I can't even read. Nick David of Bang! Nick David of, give me some eye emojis in the chat. Give me some eye emojis in the chat for Nick David of. Oh no, Danny McGrath again. We're a hundred away from a four-way boot race as Danny McGrath. Bang, bang. Oh, <laughs> it's Monday. It's Monday, 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 Monday. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I don't have work tomorrow. I'm so glad I don't. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Three-point <laughs> goal. Anthony Dana Her. Bang. Bang. <laughs> Let's go. The Alrighty. real ones are showing up and showing out tonight oh my god <laughs> hope you brought your drinking pants smitty danny mcgrath says i want to see it now <sighs> danny this is where we stand our chances to win as the knicks now crew is better if we give it 10 minutes to let my stomach settle significantly but if we want to do it now we could do it now we could do it now um i'm down to do it now f it f it my stummy my stummy bronx boy oh man but <laughs> you're definitely gonna win all right, there's that. Make sure Smitty's on that. 
Davidov says, good win today. How was the stadium today, Davidov? How was the stadium? Brian Fitzgerald says, Danny McGrath is on Mount Rushmore. Yeah, he is. He is. He is right now, he is in a class of his own. Davidov says the energy was electric. I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, it should be. Dante DiVincenzo sets the record for most three-pointers made in a game by a New York Nick. G5 says, eat some bread. I need to. Two boots in. Good thing I don't work tomorrow. Good thing I don't work tomorrow. Bob Builder says, how many boots has he had so far? Only one. Only one boot. We're about to do two, though. We're about to do two. Anthony says, Joey, any $10 super gets a ticket. Bang God gets the jersey. Exactly. Every $10 super chat you send in this month gets you a raffle ticket to win our signed Walt Clyde Frazier photo. All right. Here we go. It's time. Here we go. We'll slide this way. We'll let the Celtics now crew after a big loss take front and center. Um, yeah, we're just resting your guys, right? No, so you lost to the Hawks playing your best? Oh, yeah, you're resting. You're resting. Shout out to Anthony Danaher. Shout out to Danny McGrath. And shout out to Nick Davidov. It's a four-way boot race. We're going to have to go to work here, man. All right, here we go. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Let's ride. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> That's my second one in 10 minutes. Oh, brutal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a bad idea. That was a horrible idea. That was not smart. Oh, man. <sighs> I'm going to be honest. That, like, shakes the core. Smitty spilled a lot. Yo, yo, yo. Smitty <laughs> spilled a lot. There's a wet spot on the carpet right here. Uh-oh. Levi's the best says half of Smitty's drink went on the floor. Exactly. Exactly. Bro, he's capping. I, I think we get an A for effort. I think we get an A for effort. Fitzgerald, you're a legend, brother. Danny McGrath says, I saw the spill. Yeah, he definitely spilled. Get this guy out of here, dude. Oh, it's just too much liquid. Ugh. Oh, man. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, fuck. Subscribe to the channel, man. <sighs> Subscribe to the channel. This is what we do. This is what we do. We watch Knicks games and we party. Uh. <laughs> Shout out to you guys. Smitty, are you still talking noise over there, dude? You must be hearing things. You drinking too much. I didn't say shit. You better not say it shit, like Smitty. F Smitty. <laughs> F Smitty. Bronx Boy says, what would it cost for another boot? I can't. I can't. How about this? We're at 842. If we get to 1,000, Smitty's got to do another boot. He said not doing it. Deal. Deal. F Smitty. F Smitty. If we, everyone give me an F Smitty in the chat. He's talking shit. 
We're at eight hundred and forty-two dollars. If we get to a thousand, Smitty's got another boot. F him. I'm tired of his shit. I'm tired of his shit. He knows he cheated. Exactly, Will. I agree with none of that. He comes to my house. He watches on my TV. And he has the audacity to come in my studio and shit talk my Knicks fans. If we get to a thousand, he's doing another boot. F him. I can't do one, though. I can't. Yeah, Anthony says, F Smitty, talk shit, get lit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. I don't know if it'll happen. Bronx Boy asked for another boot. That, that's all we got. Smitty, Smitty says, uh, that, that's it. Said, put the timer on. Are you rushing them? Yeah, I am. All right, we'll put three minutes on the clock. How about that? All right. Three minutes on the clock. Three minutes. We're at 142. If we, as a team, get to 1,000, we'll do another one. By, I, by we, I mean him, not me. I've already done two. Exactly. Exactly. Tony says F Smitty. F Smitty. F him. Ridiculous. Someone needs an adult bib. Yeah, someone, his name is Smitty. Kenzo 11. He really made 12. They took one away five minutes after he made it because they said he's, he stepped out of bounds. Really? Let's ride. Bronx Boy says, I only saw Allie doing a boot. Were you guys there too? Didn't notice. Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> Danny McGrath says, I agree, Brian. Not even spilling. I agree. I think that's why we got to make Smitty do another boot. But that's on y'all. That's on y'all. Two minutes. Two minutes. We're 158 away. Loose cannon. J dot says, "What's in the boot? Water? Yes, yes. It's a water boot. It's a water boot. You caught us. You caught us, dude. Um. Yeah, exactly. G five says ragu was cooking. He was. He was. Oh man. Joey says I got second. I, I won. Smitty cheese. Michael says, Happy Dad. No, we don't drink Happy Dads. Water's only. Water's only. Michael, we appreciate you. One minute left. We want to make Smitty, the damn Celtics fan, do another one. Well, we're now 58 away. Check that. 48 away. Because this one's rolling in from... C P J Bang Bang C P J a hundred dollar super chat. Give me some C P J's in the chat. And Smitty, you might need to go fill your boot, dude. You might need to go fill your boot. As Gregory Williams. He says, by we, I mean them. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Shout out to Greg. We appreciate you. And then Anthony Danaher, a $50 super chat. Tell him, tell him the. He says, can I get some raffle tickets, please, Marsh? Absolutely. Anthony, we will put yours towards the raffle. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up with something so everybody can enter the raffle and the bang competition. 85. It's Did you tell him why? Get, fill a fucking boot, Smitty. Fill a fucking boot. F Smitty in the chat. Yeah, there he is, cussing his way to get the boot. Anthony Danaher is a legend. You guys are the best. Danny McGrath says, I saw that Bronx boy. If I'll win, I'll send it your way. Danny, you have disqualified yourself from the bang race and the individual stuff. 
We're taking care of you separately. Um, that's why I asked for you to ship me, send me your shipping address. You never got back to me, though. Danny, you have surpassed yourself from that at this point. We want to still keep it open for other people. So um, I need your shipping address, Danny. That way we can show you some love and get you some sick gear. CPJ, you're a legend, bro. Anthony Danaher, you're a legend. You're a legend. F this kid. This guy. This, this guy. brother stinks. stinks. This dude stinks. This guy's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, my God. Danny McGrath says, oh, hell no. Get to chugging, you little weasel. Weasel is crazy. It's getting hostile. I can't wait till the Eastern Conference Finals. Why? So you watch us? There he goes. Hopefully, well, let me get out of the splash zone here. Let me get out of the splash zone. Johnson U says, what's the bang leaderboard looking like? <laughs> that was pretty good. Only a little bit of uh, leakage. Only a little bit of leakage there. Yes, Levi's. Yes. Yes. Smitty the Weasel, says Danny McGrath. <laughs> um, so just pop up the listicle real quick. Anthony Danaher kind of separated himself a little bit, Johnson U. I don't even think that's correct. Do you know what that's updated? Did you just throw up? No. I heard liquid in that burp. I just had four gallons of liquid. Maya's World says, Smitty Dog, you rock. Shout out, Maya's World. No way. Johnson, you. Uh, Davidov sent one in. Davidov's at eight. This is the leaderboard. Yeah, Smitty's cooked. That, he, that he, was ridiculous. I can't believe y'all did that. Y'all are legendary. Johnson, you, um, you were close, and then you took some games off. And um, Anthony Danaher doesn't take games off. Danny McGrath says, where am I? Um, you've got your own, your own stuff. Oh, we're not celebrating the Pistons win. This is just what we do every every show. I are you serious? Seventeen bangs from Anthony Danaher this month is crazy. Brian Fitzgerald says Smitty has no <laughs> chance in the Irish Mafia. Not a chance. Not a chance. Anthony Danaher says, "Wow, I thought it was a lot closer. It was until you went Super Saiyan mode today. It was until you went Super Saiyan mode today." Anthony says, best chat and channel on YouTube. Nah, that's that's all y'all. Johnson says, we want all the Celtic smoke. We want all the smoke. Yeah. We want all the smoke. Yeah. We want all. Can't even beat the Hawks. Can't even beat the Hawks. 30, was it actually 30? Yeah. We're winning games without three starters. Y'all can't even survive a game without a starter. How many minutes did Hauser play tonight? 40? CPJ says, I'm definitely upset that we played some of our players 40 minutes against the Pistons. I am as well, considering you won by like 30 points. Allie Barefoot is Appreciate leaving it, the studio. Appreciate it. Shout out to Allie Barefoot. Thanks, Beast. Shout out to Smitty. <laughs> no, Smitty's not leaving yet. <laughs> Smitty, I will take you home. Smitty dog. <laughs> now nah, you can roll, Smitty. Go ahead. B5 says AD is a boss. Dude. Anthony Danaher, legendary. I mean, Monty Williams after the game says, 
asked about Dante DiVincenzo. He says, I don't care about their team. I couldn't care less. Those guys, the way they get those threes, I don't want to be a part of that story. What? Oh, pro- like just fishing at the end of the game for. Monty Williams is up. I- I'm telling you, dude, he is a he is the biggest fraud. He is the second highest paid coach in the league. All right, the stomach's just feeling a little better. Let's um, let's talk about the game, huh? Woo! Danny, I'll check that after the game, brother. I'll check that after the game, and we will be in contact. Let's talk about it, though. Let's talk about it. The New York Knicks defeat the Detroit Pistons 124-99, to and it was a record-setting game for Dante DiVincenzo. We'll talk about DiVincenzo, and we also have major injury updates on Mitchell Robinson, OG Ananobi, and Julius Randle. Subscribe, turn notifications on, so you never miss a thing. Let's start with DiVincenzo because of how special of a day it was. A record-setting night for the big ragu. He sets the single game most three-pointers made in New York Knicks history. He had it tied for a while uh, at 10, which that record was held by Evan Fournier and J.R. Smith. And to see Dante get it done against the Pistons, who have Evan Fournier, was pretty damn sweet. The dude is special. And in the playoffs, he is going to win you a couple of games because his ability to shoot threes and knock them down. When you have someone like that that can get blacked out hot, and make 11 threes, that can change the way a game is won. And when you get back to Randall and OG and Brunson, you're only going to get easier and easier looks if you're Dante DiVincenzo. Good to see him get hot, and it's awesome to see that he set a record for the most three-pointers made in a game by a New York Knicks in history. Let's show him some love, though. Comment zero down below. Show him some love. Uh, He deserves it. He's been great. It's been another great move. By Leon Rose and crew, um, he, he's been electric. Give me a zero in the chat if you're enjoying the way he's playing. Ian Begley coming in with some updates prior to the game. Let's talk about the injuries. Per Tom Thibodeau, OG and Obi went through some parts of shoot-around, a positive step toward a return to the court. But Thibodeau says the irritation in Ananobi's surgically repaired elbow still needs to subside further for him to return to the floor. I don't necessarily see um, Begley, excuse me, DiVincenzo, oh, Jesus Christ, Ananobi returning anytime soon as the New York Knicks do have a couple of easy games coming up. You talk about the rest of the schedule. You got Toronto and San Antonio. I don't see him coming back for that. Maybe Sunday against Oklahoma City on March 31st, or maybe you just hold him out until maybe the last week before the regular season. Uh, and Obi isn't a guy that I think needs a lot of time to get back into a groove. His defense is pretty translatable, so maybe they just hold him off. Update on Randall from Begley. Julius Randall is feeling good, but has not been cleared yet for contact, Tom Thibodeau says. Randall's been doing controlled contact, but hasn't been taking live contact. Randall has been in this stage of rehab for a few weeks. Thibodeau says Randall hasn't had a setback. We also um, talked about on the channel that we had heard that uh, Julius Randle was pushing behind closed doors to let the New York Knicks let him play. And as we record this video on the 25th of March, we were less than a month away from the playoffs. And I've said it time and time again, I think Randle is a rhythm-based player. He needs to play his way back into a basketball groove. I think there's got to be a cutoff where if Randle doesn't return by X state with five, six games left in the regular season, 
you just chalk it up and you tell him to get healthy. Because I don't want to see him playing his way back into a groove in the playoffs like he had to do last year versus Cleveland. I thought that caused more harm than good for the Knicks. I don't think I want I don't want to see them go through that again. What was funny about all the pregame updates on injuries was Tom Thibodeau essentially said that Mitchell Robinson is the closest to coming back. Um, you're gonna change that to eight. Mitchell Robinson is the closest to coming back and being ready to play of Randall and of Robinson, uh, of Ananobi. It sounds like Robinson, according to Tibbs, is pretty close to returning. He's been cleared for contact. He's been practicing at a full capacity. And we had heard from Brian Windhorse that he's going to be back by the end of the month. He's got three games before the end of the month. I think it's soon. Before we get to the stats, before we get to the highlights over the win against the Pistons, my question to all of the people watching today's show is this. If you could only pick one of these players to be healthy for the playoffs, who would it be? Is it Ananobi? Is it Randall? Is it Robinson? Type the jersey number of the player you want to see 100% healthy for the playoffs. I'm very interested to see where this goes. The big story of the game was Dante DiVincenzo. Um, really was never that tight of a game. The New York Knicks came out. And I believe they were on a 20 to nothing run in that first quarter. They made a lot of shots. Pistons did not. Even Chenzel did a whole lot of that. 23-pointer shot, 11 made. He was really, really good, and now he is the owner of the most three-pointers made in the game by a Nick in New York Knicks history. Josh Hart, he did what Josh Hart does. Helter, skelter, stuff in the stat sheet, finding a way to make winning plays. He does that yet again. Another triple-double for Hart. I believe this is the sixth of his career, all six coming this season. Um... 11, 14, and 10. When he's out in transition and he's in control, he's one of the best at pushing the break. He was really good, I thought, on finding open shooters outside of the break. It also helps when someone makes 11 threes to stack up those assists. Josh Hart, there's no reason he can't play like that every game. He, he was great. Hartenstein, again, looked really good in the first quarter. And then it was kind of a minutes restriction the rest of the way. I believe he's getting healthier and healthier. We're getting close to him being 100% as he's really nursing that Achilles injury. But um, that's where we are on that. Jalen Brunson has 28 points, six assists, two rebounds. Um, thought he played okay. He got hot in the second half. I think he made three straight shots to close that third quarter. Good to see him knock it down from three. Before we get to the rest of the stat seeps, I want to tell everybody about our proud sponsor, uh, Prize Picks. Check them out. Go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Promo code CLNS, the number one daily fantasy sports app in North America. Shout out to them. Now is the time to play prize picks. I know the NFL season is over with. I know college football is over with. But the NBA is heating up as so is the action in March Madness for the men and the women. And they always have awesome deals for new and returning users. Put 100 bucks into your account. They'll match that up to $100. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS, and uh, we'll hook you up. Support the show. Support the sponsor. We kindly ask that you do that. We love having Prize Picks as a sponsor, and to keep them coming back and sponsoring the show, we need the real ones to step up, show up, show out, play Prize Picks. All you do is create a lineup <clears throat> of two to six players, and you simply choose more or less on their projected stat line. It's pick more, pick less. It's Prize Picks, the number one daily fantasy sports app. Um, check them out. Always awesome deals. Taco Tuesday. They have awesome deals almost every day of the week. Check them out, pricepicks.com slash CLNS, promo code CLNS. Good to see Boyan Bogdanovich. I feel like just see a couple shots go through. He's been really disappointing so far since coming over to the Knicks. But against his former team, the Pistons, which it's hard to judge any results versus this team, considering I believe they are the worst team in the NBA by a good bit. He was able to get some shots to go. Um, still not shooting the three-pointer well. He also has this KT, KT tape on his back going down up to his neck. And I feel like he wasn't elevating that much on his shot. I wonder if he's hurt. I wonder if that's what's affecting him. Not 100% sure on that. Knicks are going to need him to make shots in the playoffs. That's why he was brought here. He's a career 38% three-point shooter. Just be your floor. You need to be better. Knicks need him there. It was good to see him make some shots. Miles McBride. At some point, I think we just got to accept that this is the player that he is. Another productive night. Another good game. He brought it on defense. He made Marcus Sasser work, and he also gave you good production on the offensive end. 13 points for him, five rebounds, another four assists for him. Really an underrated part 
of Deuce McBride's game since his minutes have gone up is that he had four assists. Um, and he continues to be a great playmaker. He rarely turns the ball over. He didn't necessarily shoot the ball all that well. One of seven from three, 41% from the deck. But it still, still felt like his impact was felt, his impact was made. And I feel like once you become a player that can affect the game outside just making shots, you're a valuable, valuable piece. And Miles McBride has been that pretty much the entire second half of the season. You look at the overall raw counting numbers for the Knicks, 30 assists. I like that on 45 made shots. They were moving and grooving. They were passing. They were finding open guys, uh, and they were making shots. They shot 50% from the field and 41% from three. They also out-rebound the Detroit Pistons as well, and uh, they held them to 38% from the field and 29% from three. The only thing, if I'm going to be bitter about tonight's game, is it was never a game in the third and fourth quarter, and still the minute production for some of these people were way too high. I know Dante DiVincenzo was out there to get the record, but do I really need DiVincenzo playing 40 minutes in a 30-point win over the Detroit Pistons? Do I really need Josh Hart playing 39 minutes? Does McBride really need to play 43 minutes? Um, maybe, though, this is just who Tom Thibodeau is. And I'll just have to accept it, but it will never be right in my mind that Tibbs, I don't want to say runs these guys into the dirt, but he definitely doesn't do a good job of preserving. Maybe that just is where we are on that one. Hard to complain about anything. I'm pretty pessimistic, so I find it kind of easy. But um, look, you win. You blew him out. Record-setting night. He was never in question. Don't be afraid to play the bench a little bit more, Tim. I don't need 43 minutes from Deuce, 39 from Hart, and 40 from DiVincenzo. Because we're going to need those guys playing big, impactful, meaningful minutes in the playoffs. Make sure you are subscribed. Free, informative, entertaining updates every day on your New York Knicks. Turn your notifications on, and let's go orange and blue. Oh, I got to pee. All righty, we're going to sign off on today's show. Shout out to everybody that tuned in. Shout out to everybody that showed love. We love you guys. We appreciate you guys. It's incredible the amount of support you guys get. Yep. Dana Her, Greg, CPJ. Danny, Nick DeVito, everybody, OG, Ghost Rider, Cha, Eric Trump. Ghost Rider, hey, hey, that was That was dope. Day. That was dope. Ghost Rider always in the bill. We love you guys. Thank you. We'll be back on Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday, live on the channel. See you then.